drinks. Dang it. I always forget about hot drinks. Bum, bum, bum. Hello, everybody. Hello. Welcome, welcome to the stream. I am so ready to play Strange Town on Strange Town Saturday. Let me just tell you. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Good morning, guys. I'm just going to ping the Discord here. Let everybody who wants to know know that I am going live. All right, there we go. I love Strange Town Saturday too. I love doing morning streams because I'm wide awake. I literally just woke up an hour and a half ago. Usually I wake up two to three hours before the stream, but I don't know, I was sleeping good this morning. <laughs> I was like, I gotta hurry up and get ready. So I had to do all my morning stuff and I just sat down in my chair two minutes ago. I made it, I made it. <laughs> Good morning guys, I got my coffee, I got my hot drinks. I hope you have your hot drinks, oh my gosh. That is hot, that is very hot. That is ow, 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 that's hot. <laughs> Good morning, good morning guys. So I've got Strange Town loaded here and we're gonna be playing the Smiths. Now, thank you so much for the two month prime sub, Jasmine. Thank you and hello. Okay, so let me go look in my spreadsheet guys, um, which I forgot to pull up. I almost did everything I was supposed to do. Forgot to pull up my spreadsheet here. I want to see, I think we finished the beakers completely. We did. Okay, we completely finished the beakers last time. We had a little baby Adam. Yes, yes we did. And now we're about to have another alien baby or two today. So I am really excited about this. We're gonna go play the, um, we're gonna go play the Smiths. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to say, good gosh. Okay, so yeah, what name were we on? Jacob, if it's a boy? Jacob, if, if it's a boy? Let me see. No, we already have a J. We already have, we already have, oh, that's right, because we were gonna do J names for the Smiths. Okay, Jacob, if it's a boy, Jacob after my super fan, Jacob, thank you, Jacob. And if it's a girl, we don't really have a J name yet. I think I was gonna go with Jane. Jane, if it's a girl. So Jane and Jacob are our names for our boys and our girls. Okay. Oh, thanks so much, Hannah. I'm glad you find it, found it helpful. Okay, so let me pull you guys over into the game now. Um, let's see. Here we go. Here we go. And here we are in Strange Town. Let's go ahead and load up the Smiths here. So we have, of course, Paul, uh, Jenny, Johnny, and Jill. Now, if we get to the end of their round, if we get through all four days, then Johnny, no, I was going to say Johnny could get married, but we probably will have to wait till we get back to Ophelia before we do that because he's going to move in with her. So never mind about that, but we are going to have some babies. <laughs> So let's go, let's get in there. Yes, there was already a Prime sub this morning. Yes, uh, from Jasmine. Mm. Holy crap, this is ice. <laughs> My, I just spilled water all over myself. There's ice. Oh my God. You guys, there's ice. This is ice. <laughs> I can't drink my water. Oh crap, there's literally the top is clogged with an ice cube. <laughs> ice, ice, Cindy, ice, ice, baby, too cold. Oh, thank you so much for the two month prime sub. Bake, beaky, bake. Oh, I gotta get this ice out of here. <laughs> Nobody give me a hydrate right now. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I just spilled water all over myself. Hold on, hold on. Okay, I obviously was not prepared for this. <laughs> oh my God. But the ice is gone. The ice is gone now. I'm so messy. I'm such a messy person. Like when, when it comes to food and stuff, I, I, I should wear a bib when I eat because I just get food everywhere. I don't know why I'm like that. I got to hydrate, of course I did. I also got uh, water all over my desk, so hold on a second. Let me let me wipe that off. <laughs> I think Mr. Pleasant was trying to be nice by freezing my water because I told him how much I liked having the frozen water, but he froze it too much. He froze it too much, and now I feel like I need lotion on my hands. <laughs> I always spill my beverages too. I'm the worst. Oh my God, y'all! One, two. Three, 
Good God. You guys just want to see me spill water all over myself, don't you? And four for smelly hag. <laughs> Your name makes me laugh. Okay. Oh my God. <laughs> one for Amber and one for Tomb Raider too. One, two, oh my God. <laughs> two. And another one for Cersei. Smelly hag. <laughs> oh my God. Three more. Smelly hag, Hannah, and Lily. Two. Good Lord. Three. <sighs> okay, guys. I need a break. I need a break from the hydrates. Give me a minute. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy yeah I probably should put a cool down on it okay so here we are <laughs> here we are in the Smith family house so let's check out what everybody's doing so of course y'all Johnny wants to get married to Ophelia did they get engaged I think they did no, they didn't even get engaged. They're just going steady. So we can at least do the uh, engagement. We can do the engagement. Oh, we got a meme. Okay, you want to see a meme before we get started? All right. Let's see. What do we have? What do we have in memes? I haven't been in this channel in a while, so who knows what's in here. <laughs> oh, that's cute. Okay, here we go. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Here's our meme for today. Awesome, here we go again. <laughs> There's Bella Goth. Although that's Sims 4 Bella. I'm not sure I get this. <laughs> but it's cute and I like it. <laughs> and here's one more since you can see it anyway. This is the happiest memory in the brain. I play it every time we get sad. <laughs> Sims 2 and 3. <laughs> I posted in our Sims 4. <laughs> That's right. These are the best. These are the best. Hey, Caleb. I'm glad you could make it. Okay. All right. So those are our memes for today. Now we're ready to get started. We'll, we'll, we can look at some more memes later, guys. Oh, it's when you start your Pleasant View for the hundredth time. Oh, I get it. Yeah, I feel that. I feel that deep in my soul. <laughs> All right, so uh, poll here, let's check. Oh, that's right. So last time we left the Smith family, Hole and Jenny had just tried for baby for the last time. Now, we actually, I don't even think we know if she's pregnant. Did we check? We must have checked because in my spreadsheet, I say that she's pregnant. I wrote that she's pregnant. So somehow we know that she's pregnant. <laughs> Oh, thank you so much, Kayla, for giving out five gift subs. So thank you very much for giving out those gift subs, Kayla, to Cottage Peach, Zoe, Kimberly Ham, Focaloid, and Zira. Thank you, and thank you for the follow, Jonas. Thank you very much, guys. Oh, I also just want to say, if you're not subscribed to me or to if you're thinking about subscribing to me or some other uh, streamer and it's your first time subscribing, this is September, so you will get 20% off your subscription. So I just want to spread awareness about that all month on Twitch. Okay, and we got a commercial break from Carson. Okay. All right, let's do the commercial break, and then we got to take care of Polly all because he's hungry. He's hungry. And Jenny, let's look at Jenny, too. Oh, my God, Jenny's starving. <laughs> Jenny wants to woo with three Sims. No, Jenny, no. <laughs> no. Yes, thank you so much for helping me meet my sub goal, everybody. Thank you very much, and thank you again to Kayla and to all my other subscribers, of course. Okay, so let's see what we've got for commercial break. Um, let me see. Let me see. The Hall of Aver Vodafone. I don't know what these are. Um, Sebi submitted these. Thank you so much for the one month sub, Georgina. Thank you very much. And thank you for the follow, Sam. Um, okay, this has a mouth on it, so and it's from I Love Retro Commercial, so that looks good to me. This is called KY102FM Mouth Commercial. You guys ready to see a mouth commercial? I don't know what that is. Okay, stop. Don't play. Don't play. 
here we go let's see what we're let's see what we got here oh thank you so much for the one month sub andy thank you very much <laughs> I'd like Mouth to tell commercial. You about a remarkable radio station. Good morning, Dick and Jay at KY 102. Led Zeppelin, Stairway to Heaven up next. Stand by. Hi, gang. I'm Tom Hopkins. That's a little ACDC for you on 102. I don't like this. I don't like this. Randy Rayleigh on KY. KY 102. We rock Kansas City. You have a remarkable mouth. We have a remarkable radio station. Oh. Oh, I don't like that. Like that. I mean, I like it, but I don't like it. You know what I mean? Thank you, Zakel, for <laughs> for sharing that with us. Hey, look, guys, look what's here. Look at this. I have to thank Marta because Marta sent me a message this morning with poops in it, and I sent her a mes message back with poops in it, and now I got poops. <laughs> I got poops. Thank you, Marta. <laughs> oh, thank you so much for the prime sub, HH. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay, now we're finally ready to play, I think. I think you guys are happy for the moment. <laughs> it's fine. All I had to do was send it in one message. Oh, my God. Who knew? Who knew? <laughs> now we can take a dump on all those commercials. <laughs> Yes, thank you, Poop Mod. <laughs> All right, so let's get these Sims something to eat, y'all. And let's watch Jenny because I'm, we must have checked to see if she was pregnant. That's the only thing I can think of. Um, let's have her go serve dinner because it's already 6.30 at night. Um, let's go make some goopy carbonara. That's what you want when you're pregnant, right? A big old greasy bowl of goopy carbonara. <laughs> Ooh. That doesn't even sound good to me. I don't like, um, I don't like carbonara. It's too rich. What's the deal, Jenny? Oh my God. Okay, kid, get out of here. Get out of here, child. So Jenny can cook some dinner. Okay, she's gonna eat some cake. That's fine too, I guess. If you want cake for dinner, go ahead. I won't, who am I to stop you? <laughs> Thank you for the follow, HH. Oh, we checked to see if the try for baby act option was still there oh thank you sabrina i knew we must have checked i don't like pasta silly sora isn't that weird i don't like pasta um okay paul you need to get something to eat too so everybody's eating cake and chips they're so healthy in this household <laughs> thank you so much for the follow sandrusky i know poor jill let's see what we can do for her let's see okay one piece of cake was not enough i'm gonna have her cook Cook some carbonara for yourself. Nothing but just carbs and fat. <laughs> you don't like pasta either? See, I'm glad I'm not alone. Jenny Smith is currently... Uh, oh my God, I don't know how old they are, guys. Hold on, let's see. Um, she is 40. She's 40 years old. So let's check everybody's ages, actually. So Paul is... Um, he's 57. See, in my normal game, he wouldn't be an elder until he hits 60, but because of the neighborhood age correct, some of the Sims that are already elders will be in their late 50s, and that's cool. I'm just going to go with it. So he's 57. Jenny is 40. Um, Johnny is 18. I believe he just turned 18, or he's 19. He's 19. And uh, Jill is... 12, 9. So we got 9, 19. Well, they had 10 years apart from their kids. We have 57, 40, 19, and 9. There we go. Yes, I do believe she is pregnant. I wrote it in my spreadsheet that she's pregnant, so I'm pretty sure she is. <laughs> I trust myself. No, Jenny, it, that, that might have been before I ran neighborhood age correct because with my aging system, she is now 40. She's got 20 days until she becomes an elder at 60. Thank you so much for the prime sub, uh, Laurie. I think that's an L. Is that an L or an I? Laurie or I Ari? <laughs> Thank you for the follow. Shout out to Jenny and her twins. Oh no, Mike. Don't curse me. Although I do believe that we gave Jenny fertility treatment. Did we not? We did. We are super fertility. We gave Jenny super fertility. So there is a good chance that we're going to have twins. I think we also gave it to Paul. We did. 
So, I mean, there's a really good chance we're going to have twins. And I think that's why I didn't check on the uh, ACR or anything, because I didn't want to know. Yay, thank you, uh, Hype Train. Choo-choo. Thank you, guys. Level two completed. I thought I was going to be able to text you or chat something, but I didn't. Oh, I can. Okay, I don't know what that is. <laughs> I don't know what emoji that is. <laughs> shout out to all the Pleasant Sims mods. Thank you, Caleb. Yes, the Pleasant Sims mods deserve a shout out. Thank you to all of my stream mods and all of my Discord mods, because I know a lot of you guys are here too. Thank you very much for all of your hard work making our community so very pleasant. <laughs> Jam and Jelly Smith. <laughs> That's funny. Oh my gosh. Okay, so let's see, what can we do? Uh, Paul is eating his dinner. Jenny, Jenny, you need to have another plate of carbonara is what you need to do. She wants to play with Johnny, talk to jo tell joke to Johnny. Now Johnny is a bass player, am I right? Am I right, did we get him a bass? Oh my God, I don't think we got him a bass, y'all. Hold on, let me just double check. No. Johnny's a singer. He's not a bass player. He's a singer. Oh my God. So I was wrong. He's actually a singer. So this is his room over here. It's kind of like very childish right now, but I don't know how much time I want to spend on his room considering he is going to be moving out soon, but let's at least give him a different bed cover so it doesn't look like a little boy's bed. Um, let's see. I'm just going to give him like I don't know. We'll give him this one. And nothing matches, I'm aware of that. But like I said, he's gonna be moving out soon. Um, so let's get him a microphone so he can start working on his singing skill. Um, he's gonna be the front man of the band. And I'm just gonna put this right here. Can he use that right there? I guess he can. Let's see, let's have him go try it out. So this was his, this is his birthday gift from his parents is the microphone because they know how much he loves music and he likes to sing. So they got him this, um, microphone. Jill's room is blinding. Oh, I know that carpet. Oh boy. And see, there's already a room over here ready for the next child. I feel like they just set you up to have another child with this family. <laughs> I'm excited too. I can, oh, he can't use it. I didn't think he was going to be able to. Maybe I need to turn it the other. Okay, let's turn it the other way. Um, that's that sucks. I don't like I don't like this. You know what? Go, come practice over in this room. Go practice over here. I don't like it to be up against the wall. I don't know. There. Go practice in there. You can look out the window while you practice. <laughs> Go sing. Don't recite po poetry. I don't know. It's really ugly, but I think they were going with the, trying to match the yellow and the flowers, but it's blinding. Okay, what's wrong with Jill? Oh my God, she's so tired. Poor thing. Go to sleep. Look, she wants to be friends with Rick. I mean, Rip. Did I say Rick? Rip. Oh my God, look at her aspiration. Why is it so low? Oh my God. My views on The Sims 4 pre-made houses. Um, you know, I feel like some of them are okay. Like, uh, I, I kind of like some of the ones in Willow Creek, but after that, they got lazy with them. <laughs> I personally feel. And some of them in Oasis Springs are okay, too, and, and in Windenburg. Windenburg is my favorite neighborhood in The Sims 4. But I feel like everything after that, not so great. <laughs> I'm going to have her go to sleep, and we'll see if we can take care of her tomorrow. She wants to invite someone over, but she's too tired to do anything tonight. Let's listen to Johnny. Oh, he's terrible. He's terrible. <laughs> oh, the fight with Johnny and Tank. You're right. You're right. That's what's wrong with her. Yeah. The ugly yellow carpet in her room gave her aspiration failure. <laughs> oh. 
Oh, it was Glorn's house? Yeah, you might be right about that. Oh my god, Johnny needs some serious practice, y'all. That's not, that's not good. <laughs> let's let him practice for a while and let's check on Jenny. Okay, Jenny's gonna take a bath. That's a good idea. Then we'll probably just go ahead and send her to bed. She also wants to get a skill point, which I'm gonna lock in now. Oh, look, he got a creativity skill point. Good. So Jenny's the only one in this house who has a job, although Paul does get um, some money from retirement. But Jenny is currently working as a nurse. Um, once she gets her baby bump, she'll be on maternity leave. And then Paul gets a uh, retirement. He gets a retirement pension of 768 simoleons. So that is very good. Usually I find that Jenny want, ends up wanting to quit her job. And um, that'll be fine because they still have uh, Paul's money coming in. Oh, crap. I got to fix the road. Hold on. I got to fix the road. Thank you so much for the cheer, Nick. Thank you very much. Oh, and shout out to Pleasant Simmers from Teeny Boop Boop. <laughs> Thank you to shouting out to the Pleasant Simmers. Yes. I love all of you guys. You're awesome. Okay, I fixed the, the road there. You love singing along to them? I can't make... I can't sing along to them because I don't know what they're singing. <laughs> Okay, so he's done for the night. Let's see. He Now he's going to go listen to music. Okay, let's see what he listens to. He should turn it on to a random station. Watch it be salsa. Don't turn it on to salsa. Um, He's not retired in your game because you're probably not using the clean templates. So I use a clean template for Strange Town that fixes some of the errors. And one of the errors that is fixed is that Paul isn't getting retirement money. So if you use the clean template, he will be retired. All right, let's see. He turned it on to 50s music, y'all. 50s music. Is he into rockabilly or something? And now he's going to go downstairs. Maybe they're going to be a rockabilly band. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, I've created all the Sims 2, Sims in the Sims 4 before, and all their houses too. And and set up all their personalities and everything. And then I got Oh, she's Oh, look, Jenny just got Jenny just got sick. But it it just doesn't work as well. I don't know. It might be fun to do the Strange Town Sims too. At least to make them. I don't know if it'd be fun to play them. <laughs> Okay, well, we definitely know Jill is prego. I like some 50s music, but usually not the 50s pop music. I don't like that. I don't know what it is. I don't know what kind of music that is, but I don't like it. <laughs> All right, what are they talking about here? They're just chatting. That's nice. Let's see what their relationship is. Oh, he's friends. He's barely friends with his dad, and he's better friends with his mom. He's not friends with his sister, though. Um, will I be doing a Strange Town building stream soon? I don't know. Maybe. We definitely need to make over some of these houses. Um, I still have a lot to do in Pleasant View. I haven't even started on Strange Town, much less Veronaville. Good Lord. So yesterday, I took a day off for the first time in like months. So I published my video yesterday morning, and I was like, I'm just going to turn off everything and just do what I want to do today because I really needed some time off. Um, so, of course, what do I do with my time off? I play The Sims. <laughs> so I spent all day yesterday <clears throat> building a grocery store in The Sims 3, which I know it doesn't sound like, oh, I got a radio station request. I see you. And uh, I got two radio station requests. <laughs> and I decided I wanted to make a realistic um, grocery store in The Sims 3, so I did, and I'm very happy with it. But it's all like I used a bunch of the Sims around the Sims 3 grocery decor, which looks really good. And I spent like hours placing every little thing on the shelf. And then I realized that it was all I well, I knew it was all decorative and it wasn't usable. But then I found out that you could actually make a grocery store with usable ingredients. And I was like, oh, crap. So now I have to go redo it. <laughs> Okay, so let's get Johnny. Uh, we'll turn the radio on in the morning, guys, because Johnny's not going to be able to sleep with it on. I'm going to send him to bed. We'll turn the radio on in the morning and do, and we'll listen to some sweet salsa. Some sweet salsa. 
Babby has been formed. Yes, it has. <laughs> But anyway, I'm really excited about my grocery store, and I think it looks super cute. Um, because I'm trying to do an integrated neighborhood in The Sims 3, but let me tell you, it's going to take me years. <laughs> because I've been working on it for like two weeks. I've made one house and one store. She's pregnante. <laughs> That's okay. I'm still, I still love my grocery store. I have it all set up how I want it. It's just, I want to get some of the viable um, ingredients and replace some of the decorative ingredients, you know, so they can actually purchase things instead of it just being decor and then they just go to the register to buy their groceries. So that's what I'm going to try to do. It looks a little tedious. <laughs> Oh, oh, we want a meme? Okay, hold on. I hear Jill. Jill, oh, good God. We gotta do something for her. There's nothing we can do. I'm gonna unlock that. Go fishing? What is her hobby? Um, her hobby is... Watching TV and movies. Okay, we can do that. But that's not going to help her with her aspiration, y'all. I'm kind of worried about her now. Um, let me save. And I don't know when Jill is going to get her baby bump. I think it's going to be around like 6 or 7 p.m. today. And let's, um, let's see. Let's do a meme. And then as soon as Johnny wakes up, we'll do the radio station. I'm trying to remember what you guys redeem. So let's do a meme real quick while everybody's asleep. Let me see what we got. Let me see what we got. <laughs> oh yeah, this is a funny one. Okay, I can I can relate to this. So this is Sims 3 related. Dye hair blue, give birth to blue haired children. Oh man, I hate it. I hate it so much. I hate it so much. <laughs> That's why I almost never use unnatural hair colors in The Sims 3 because I hate how they're genetic. I wish somebody was able to like fix that in a mod, but I don't know if that's possible. I truly feel that The Sims 2 has the best genetic system out of any of the three. Ooh, that might be a good video idea. <laughs> I feel, I truly feel like The Sims 2 has the best genetics out of the three. And then I, I have to say that I think Sims 4 might be second. I don't know. I don't like what they what happens to the kids when they're when they have the funky jaw. <laughs> it might have been a witch or a vegan. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Not so pleasant says Olive found out she was perfnat from a Luigi board. <laughs> Which she got from an unknown source, but some say that it might have been a witch or a vegan. <laughs> oh, that's killing me. Thank you so much for the three months, Metaphysica. Thank you very much. And hey, Honeywell, thank you for the follow. <laughs> Glad to see you. I haven't seen you in a while. Okay, guys, so we're going to call that. Oh, here's one more. Here's one more meme. Um, sometimes you have to hug the people you don't like, so you know how big to dig the hole in your backyard. <laughs> That's a good one, too. Thank you for that, Cersei. Let's do a poop on those, and then we'll get back to the game. Thank you guys for sharing the memes. <laughs> okay, so let's see what's going on with our Sims. Now, we've got to do something about Jill, but we can't fulfill any of these wants right now. It's 624 in the morning, and she's throwing a fit. Poor thing. Oh my gosh. <laughs> hey, Honeywell. <laughs> um, am I using some mods from the Sims resource? No, I don't. Well, I, I do. I do use mods from the Sims resource and I use some build and buy stuff from the Sims resource, but I don't have any clothes from there, I don't think. Because the clothes are not really to my taste. Usually I find them to be more kind of like an alpha style. And I'm not crazy about that style personally. So I usually don't look for clothes over there. But they do have some really good build and buy stuff. Okay, poor. I feel so bad for Jill, y'all. I don't know what to do for her. Look at this. I know, she's so upset. 
Um, yeah, it's it's sad, and I can't do anything about it. Let's check on Jenny since she's prego. We need to get her to the bathroom. <laughs> She wants to invite somebody over, Heidi, and she can't do that because she's about to go to school. Um, so if she still wants to do that when she gets home, we can fulfill that. Yeah, I don't like those Photoshop jeans. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. What do I want for Sims 5? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I'm like so fed up, I don't even know anymore. <laughs> Of course, I want the detail and gameplay of The Sims 2. That's what I always want. Um, I do I do like open world of Sims 3. I know a lot of people say they want The Sims 3 open world, but I can totally live without open world. I don't need to have an open world. I would like it, but if the game can perform better without it, I'm cool with not having an open world. I mean, I never had one in Sims 2, and it's still the best. Um, but I would also like... Oh, does she she miss the bus? No. I would also like um, the build-in buy mode of The Sims 4. Because really, or the build mode, I guess. The build mode is really good in The Sims 4. And it, it's, it makes it easier for people like me, who are not the most talented builders, to build something that looks nice. <laughs> that reminds me, Honeywell, if you're still in here, I'm using your bespoke houses now in my uh, custom neighborhood because they look so freaking good. I'm like trying to teach myself how to build by like looking at your builds and trying to recreate them so that I can learn. <laughs> so thank you. Thank you for making those. Okay, so Jill's going to school and um, when she gets home, we're gonna try to fulfill some wants for her. Hopefully she'll re-roll something that's actually useful. <sighs> yes, the search bar, the search bar in The Sims 4 build mode, yes. I love that search bar. I want that search bar in The Sims 2 and The Sims 3. <laughs> My first Star Wars stuff, don't even say that. Don't even say such a thing. All right, so Jill wants to learn how to make cereal. You wanna learn how to make cereal, Jill? You're 40 years old. <laughs> you don't know how to make cereal? Let's serve a big old bowl of soggy Captain Crunch. <laughs> Yes, I love the bespoke stuff. It's really good. <laughs> I wish we could have the search bar in The Sims 2 and The Sims 3. Um, but the th one thing about The Sims 3, because I've been building, like I told you guys, I've been building in The Sims 3. I really like just the ability to filter and just display. Like, I keep wanting to click on it right here, but it doesn't exist in The Sims 2. The ability to filter um, just and display, like, just your custom content is really helpful especially whenever i was doing something like the grocery store and i had all these little groceries like these little individual groceries and just being able to filter through that is really helpful although search would be better <laughs> yeah she can cook goopy carbonara but not cereal yeah sorry guys i'm sorry if uh it's lagging for you if your internet's not great sometimes twitch gives me uh the different settings and sometimes they don't and there I have no control over it so I'm really sorry hopefully I'll become partner soon and then you guys will have the uh, options the quality options every time I want to check on Johnny today and see what he is up to why wait what why is she an instant meal Jenny did I click instant meal I must have clicked instant meal instead Shout out to Honeywell from Isabel. Shout out to Honeywell. I love all your stuff. We all love all honey. We all love Honeywell's stuff here. <laughs> yes, the search button. That's what we need, Mary. Yes, we do. I like the gallery too. I do like the gallery. I like how easy it is to share things. Instead of having to like upload something to my blog, just being able to share it on the gallery is very nice. I do like that. Okay, Johnny, what are you up to? Go eat an instant meal that your mom lovingly prepared for you. <laughs> she slaved over these instant meals for your breakfast and you better eat one. So guys, we could go ahead and invite Ophelia over and propose to her. I, I really thought we had already done that, but apparently not. 
Bye, Mary. <laughs> Everything you every time you see something with Star Sims 4 and Star Wars, you can feel each brain cell die one by one. <laughs> oh god. You hear Forrest Gump when you hear Jenny. I love Forrest Gump. That's a good movie. <laughs> I saw somebody give it like a really bad review recently and they said um, that it didn't age well and it was just oh there goes Jenny getting sick again it didn't age well and it was just like annoying and pandering and I was like come on it's a classic it's an American classic <laughs> yeah I used to have really long hair mm -hmm. I used to have really long hair for most of my life I had long hair I used to have really long dreads I had dreadlocks all the way down my back <laughs> whenever I met Mr. Pleasant and they are not easy to take care of so I cut them out <laughs> after like a year I love Forrest Gump too okay so I want to check on Paul he's taking a shower we need to get him to the bathroom get him some instant meal this morning and they don't have a lot of money to hire a maid so I think I'm just gonna have Jenny do the cleaning or maybe Paul do the cleaning because Jenny's not doing too hot right now she's gonna go Relax. I hope you're just relaxing. Oh, thank you so much for gifting a gift sub to Honeywell, Christina. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I used to have dreads. Really long ones, too. I might be able to dig up a picture of that somewhere. I'll see if I can find a picture for you guys somewhere. <laughs> the Forrest Gump restaurant sucks. <laughs> I've never been to the Forrest Gump restaurant, so I don't know. Paul, you're doing... Your, oh, that's not Paul. Paul's doing okay. I'm going to have him eat some instant meal. And basically, we're just waiting around for Jill to get home at this point. Uh, you know what? Let's... Oh, Johnny wants to get a skill point. Okay, hold on. Postpone everything for Johnny's skill point. How does he have so much body skill? Is he supposed to have that much body skill? Good lord. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh, thank you so much for the follow, skedaddle doodle. Hey, sweet ass bunny. <laughs> I'll see if I can I'll see if I can find a picture later, guys. I'll put it in the Discord if I can find one. I know there is I know there are a couple of pictures of me out there with dreads and I'll find them. I'll I'll dig them out. I'll dig them out from the depths. <laughs> okay, so he he has lots of body skill to beat tank up. Okay. Um, so let's see. Let's work on his creativity since he wants to get a skill point because he is going to be in a band with Ophelia. So we need him to practice his singing because he is not good. Thank you so much for the follow, the Bin, the Bin, Binna. And thank you so much for the follow, Alien Sue Cat. Yeah, he's buff. He does start the game with it. Okay. Oh, and I forgot to change the station to salsa. I'm sorry, guys. We'll have Paul come up here, and after he eats, we'll have him come change the so station to salsa. And then, okay, we got a meme. We got a meme. Here, let's let's listen to him. I don't think he got any better, guys. I don't think he's gotten any better yet. <laughs> All right, let's see a meme. Marta said she's in a meme mood. Let's see what we can find. Here we go. I didn't look at this one beforehand. It's brand new to me. All of the other adults in Pleasant View being either lovers or enemies, Brandy broke. <laughs> That's right. She's a trailblazer. She's out there sailing the seas all on her own. <laughs> okay. All right. Let me do a poop on that. And the, since we can see this one, we'll look at it too. Sims 2, don't forget, you're here forever. Yes, I am. I'll never leave the Sims 2. <laughs> Even if The Sims 5 gave me everything I could possibly want in a Sims game, which I am highly skeptical about, I would still play The Sims 2. It's just the best. <laughs> okay, there we go. There's our meme time. They are. Those are funny. Um, I've been married to Mr. Pleasant for um, eight years. We've been married for eight years. <laughs> a long time. <laughs> Imagine the Smith family is a weird 90s sitcom and Tank is the only one that's self-aware. 
<laughs> do you guys ever watch that reminds me of the truman show did you guys ever watch that i love that movie someone added teeth to taiko oh my god i have to see that i must see that <laughs> Yes, add your add your memes in the Discord. Okay, we got another meme from Nathan. Okay, I gotta go look at this. I gotta go look at this. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guys. I'm. Oh my God, why? <laughs> oh my God, look, look. <laughs> That's worse than Anthony. <laughs> look at that. Now he really looks like a he really looks like a tiny adult. That was when is that was when he was a toddler. <laughs> oh my god, merch. You guys want that on merch? <laughs> oh my god. Hey girls, let me offer you a VIP entrance to my club. <laughs> oh man, that is hilarious. Cersei, that is too funny. <laughs> Thank you for that. Oh man, you guys are killing me with those teeth. You guys are killing me with those teeth. Okay, so let's have Paul come and change the radio station. Oh, okay, he's doing that. There's another one at the bottom. Okay, we'll look at that one next. Shout out to the person that put teeth on Tycho. You're my hero from Not So Pleasant. That was Cersei. <laughs> that was really funny. Paul wants to fish too. Oh my gosh, he and Jenny could go fish together, I guess. Is there anywhere to fish in Strange Town though? I don't think there is. I don't think there's any bodies of water here for them to go to. He would buy it on a hat. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh man. Oh my gosh. I hate it when I do that. I hate it when I do some kind of weird click. And I click all the way across the street. Look, Johnny is working it. Let's listen to him. Yikes. I can't tell if he's gotten better or not. <laughs> oh, man. Fish in the desert. Well, we'll have to build a pond or something eventually. They're not going to be going to fish today. Let's check on... Oh, my gosh, Jenny, where are you? Jenny, I've got your number. Jenny, something else. Eight six seven five three zero nine. Oh, thank you for that money. What's she needs to eat? Are there more instant meals to eat? <laughs> Go eat your instant meals since that's what you cooked for yourself. <laughs> Tycho is the teacher when you look up during a test. <laughs> yes, the baby is going to have a J name. The baby's going to have a J name. Did she get her baby bump? No, she is not. She is not. 8675309. That's what I think of when I hear Jenny. <laughs> Eat, hurry up and drink your instant meal and then what we need to take her to the bathroom let's have her take a shower and then she needs to go back to sleep oh my god this toilet is so gross holes in the bathtub he needs to come clean the toilet okay jill's home y'all jill's home let's see what we can do she wants to play with paul and look she's no longer in the red and she wants to play with her dad yes i'm so proud of you jill you did great in school I don't know what that instant meal is. It's some kind of fruit drink. It's a fruit smoothie in a can. <laughs> they will always be jam and jelly in our hearts. Yeah, it's going to be Jane or Jacob is what we're going to name the baby. If there's two of them, hopefully there'll be a boy and a girl. Hey, Jill, is Jenny available to talk? No, she's not. She can't talk to you right now. She's busy. <laughs> Well, the, it depends. I have default replacements for the instant meals. So see here, mine, mine are fruit. Or no, that's vegetables. Never mind, that's vegetables. It's vegetable juice. It's like a V8. <laughs> I already told you all about... Well, I don't... 
that's the thing. I don't hate The Sims 4. I'm just disappointed in it. It's like it's like your child that you 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 love, but you know they can be more. You know they're not living up to their potential. <laughs> Jam, jelly, and jello. That's right, eggplant juice. That's what they're drinking. Um, let's see. Jill. Jill wants to play with pole, so let's do that. Play. Um, I don't know. Rock, paper, scissors. I guess. <coughs> Kaiko, Lyko, Maiko. <laughs> and I don't know what to do with you. You want to get another creativity skill point, but you need to eat, so go have. I'm just going to feed them instant meals until there's no instant meals left. That's even worse. Yeah. <laughs> All right, they're playing rock, paper, scissors. That helped Jill out with her aspiration. So she's doing pretty good now. She's actually in the yellow. She still wants to invite someone over. Who could we invite over? Let's invite Buck over. That's what we'll do. Let's invite Buck over. And I still want to invite um, Ophelia over so that Johnny can propose to her. But right now, Johnny's busy drinking his eggplant juice. <laughs> Jello and Jelba? Oh no. <laughs> Jelba? <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> I uninstalled The Sims 4 and now my skin is clearer. <laughs> you guys are so funny. Ginger, no. <laughs> no, Brand, no. <laughs> I love Dolly Parton. I'm a Dolly Parton fan. She's an actual angel on earth. <laughs> Not yet, Marcelinda. Jolene. Yes. Jolene, Jolene. <laughs> okay, where are you? Are you inviting Buck over? No, stop playing. It's time to invite your friend over. Jezebel. <laughs> John Lennon, no. <laughs> oh, thank you so much for the prime sub, child of Malkov. Thank you. Oh, she is inviting uh, Buck over so that they can play since she wants to invite someone over. And he's the only other child. Well, actually, Tycho's here. Tycho's a child, too. But she doesn't know Tycho. She only knows Buck. Oh, I, I missed a meme. I'm sorry. Oh, and I missed a screenshot. Oh, God, I'm sorry, guys. What am I going to take a screenshot of? I don't know what you wanted me to take a screenshot of, but it's probably long gone now. <laughs> so we'll just take a... Oh, my God, we'll take a screenshot of Paul over here on the mic. <laughs> Look at this. He's getting down. Okay, I got to put the walls up, though. There we go. <laughs> he wanted to try out the mic you know what i need to do is i need to lock that room um so that nobody but nobody but uh johnny can go in there because i don't want them messing with his his microphone well on, hold on let's get paul out of there go downstairs somewhere i don't know get go down here <laughs> He's getting down with his funky self. <laughs> I'm going to get him out. And then, okay, so a day, another day has gone by, guys. So everybody's ages. Let me put everybody's ages in. Um, let's see. Okay, so Paul is 58. Jenny is 41. Johnny is 20 years old. And Jill is 10. So we got two days until Jill becomes a teenager. And did Buck ever show up over here? Oh, she wants to get a cat. Well, too bad. We can't get one right now. Okay, here he is. Here's Buck. Let's have her go and greet him. She's playing with her dollhouse, but go greet Buck. And then have a water balloon fight with him, I guess, if you want. The lyrical genius. <laughs> yeah, we're going to do the meme in just a sec. I just want to get uh, Jill out here. Oh, there goes Crystal Vu. Hello, Crystal. Hello there. Come on, come on. And then I want to lock this door before I forget. 
Oh, that now that's cute. I want to take a screenshot of that. I'm taking a screenshot of that. Look how cute. They're meeting each other. Aww. I hope this works out between them. I really think it will. And um, they're very similar to each other. They're both they both have a popularity, a hidden popularity token. So I think things will work out between them. They make a really cute little couple. <laughs> I, you know, I like, um, I don't like modern pop kind of country music. I like folky country music, stuff like the Stray Birds, and I like some old Dolly Parton. I like stuff like uh, Old Crow Medicine Show. I like really folky kind of stuff that I call real country music because I'm actually from the country, and the pop country stuff, I do not care for that. And I'm sorry if you like it. I don't mean any disrespect. It's just not my kind of music, <laughs> if that makes sense. <laughs> okay, so let's see. What are we doing here? What are we doing here? Doing a meme, doing a meme. Let me find a meme, guys. All right. Oh, Nathan, your meme is so tiny. I can't see it. I'm sorry, it's so tiny. Okay, here's another one. Um, plays four games of chess, qualifies for surgeon. Oh, I think we already saw that one. But thank you, Christina, that's a good one. <laughs> that's a good one. Yeah, songs about pickup trucks and losing your girl and stuff like, nah. that's not really country music, it's pop music, pretending to be country music. <laughs> Curtains. Is this what being adult, an adult is? <laughs> yes. Once you have that want to buy your own curtains, you know you're an adult. <laughs> Thank you. That was from that was from our last stream, I think. Thank you, Sammy. And then here's one more. This is from Martin number two. <laughs> My therapist. Oh, we've seen this one before, but it's a good one, so we'll show it again. My therapist. So how are you doing today? Me. Is your therapist washing you? <laughs> The hygiene's going up. <laughs> oh my gosh. And uh, used her hand sanitizer. I haven't seen it with that on there. That's pretty funny. <laughs> Thank you, Marta number two. Okay, there's your meme fix, guys. You guys are meme addicts. Okay, and thank you for the follow, create a simple edit mode. <laughs> a nice name, and thank you for the follow. All right, back to our Sims. So Jill and Jill is gonna play with Buck. Let's see if we can get them to have a water balloon fight. Is that under play? Yeah. Oh no, they weren't getting along. Did you see that? Well, he's probably not gonna like this then. <laughs> hey, you uh, you got any of those? Got any of those memes? <laughs> got any more of those memes? <laughs> oh man. Um, with country music, I, like I said, I'm real selective, but I don't like what most people call country. I guess what I like is what most people would call folk or alternative country, but to me, that's real country music. <laughs> Uh-oh, we got a baby. We got a baby bump. We got a baby bump. So it's 7 p.m. And so that means we're going to have our baby on Wednesday at 9 p.m. Are our babies. Our baby or our babies. She wants homework help. Oh, let me see. Yes, she does. Let's lock that in. And let's check this relationship. Okay, they're still not friends, but it's going up. They're having a good time having a water balloon fight, but I guess she does probably need to work on her homework before bed. So she's going to say goodbye to Buck. Let's say goodbye. Sorry, you got to go home. It's 730, and she's got to go in and work on her homework. And let's have her go ask Paul... Because Jenny is, she's got to rest. Let's find, what did she do with her homework? Is that her homework? That must be her homework. Let's bring it downstairs. Crap. Let's bring it downstairs and ask Paul to help her. <laughs> ask, oh, you got to click on the homework. Ask for homework help, Paul. I know childhood crushes would be would be cute, but I just imagine that they have childhood crushes on whoever they're closest to. <laughs> All 
All right, come on, come on, get inside. No, no, no. Ask for home, Oh, The ask for homework help, I feel like sometimes I have to try so hard to get my Sims to actually go through with the action. <clears throat> Everything, the circumstances must be perfect. Okay, Buck's going home. See you, Buck. See you later, thanks for coming over to play. No! Ask for homework help. No, you get out of there, Johnny. You get out of there. Look, Johnny wants to learn couples counseling. <laughs> Johnny, you go eat this. Go eat that meal. And Jill. Oh my God, Jill's starving. Okay, we're going to have Jill serve um, spaghetti. Go make some spaghetti. <laughs> There's a mod. I thought I had that mod. I thought I had that mod to drop them. Maybe I maybe I just saw it and didn't download it because I do that sometimes. So I need to double check and see if I have it. Okay, this is just... I don't think I do have it because this is obviously not working. Let's try one more time. She's going to be too tired to get homework help. Pull... No, you're not going to bed. You're helping. You're helping your daughter with her homework. <laughs> <laughs> Spaghetti. <laughs> oh, I'm glad you guys know what I'm talking about. Here we go. Yeah, he might need secondary. Uh, blah, blah, blah. He might need couples counseling. You're absolutely right. We'll see if he has time to work on it after he finishes his instant meal. Where's the bookshelf in this house? There should, oh, there it is. Okay, there's a bookshelf over in this little study. We'll have him start studying couples counseling. And then maybe tomorrow we'll get to invite um, Ophelia over. This is, once you get more than like three Sims in a house, I feel like it gets kind of more difficult. Am I getting their names mixed up? Oh God, I'm sorry. You guys know what I mean. <laughs> I do that all the time. I do it this I do the same thing with Dirk and Darren. I get I call Darren Dirk and Dirk Darren. I'm like, their names are too close. They're too similar. <laughs> can we get some new wave? Yes, we can. Um as soon as somebody is free to go change the radio station, yes. We'll do that for sure. You do it with Dean. Oh, I do it with Dina and Dina too. I also do it with Alexander and Mortimer. Even though their names aren't even the same. I guess it's an ending in ER. I do it, yeah. <laughs> okay, who's ready to go turn on the new wave? New wave is my favorite. Come on now. Switch to new wave. Thank you very much. I was listening to some new wave last night. I was listening to Tears for Fears last night. I love Tears for Fears. Just throwing that out there. <laughs> Jill, Jenny, Jelly, Jilly. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what their names are. <laughs> Thank you, Paul. Now you need to go eat some spaghetti. Go eat your spaghetti. And then you can go to bed. Jenny is going to bed. She's exhausted. And Jill did her homework. I'm so proud of her. And she is washing up and she's going to go to bed. I know you're tired. Don't stand there and scream. Just go to bed. Jeez. Jeez. Justin and Jason Cleveland. Yep. The names are too similar. <laughs> I never confuse the Pleasant Twins. Twins, They're different enough. They're different enough that I don't confuse them. And let's see. Oh, I want to go back up and listen to the new wave. Angela is obviously the rebel twin. <laughs> and Paul, what are we going to do with you? You're going to eat and I need you to put this spaghetti up. Put, put away leftovers. Put away leftovers. And do we need to leave a plate out for Johnny? Yeah, let's leave a plate out for Johnny. I know I always confuse Dirk and Deer. Like, I know who, that they're different Sims, but I, I just call them the wrong names. 
Um, well, we're gonna have babies soon. Thank you for the follow, Dame, Dame Mache. <laughs> I have no idea how to say your name, but thank you for the follow. <laughs> you hate the Viejo family. <laughs> oh man, me too, me too, Tristess. Uh, I'm too shy, shy, hush, hush, how do I? I love that song. I love that song in Simlish and I love that song in English and I love the freaking video. I love that video so much. It is so 80s. It is so 80s cheese. I love it with all my heart and soul. I'm too shy, shy, hush, hush, how do I? Okay, what are you doing? Go to sleep, go to bed. Don't just do what I tell you to do. I don't think Johnny's gonna learn couples counseling tonight, so I'm gonna have him eat and go to sleep too. There's three memes featuring me. Oh, yay. I'm a meme now. <laughs> Thank you for the follow, Lonely Revolutions. What's the mod where the Sims pay a damage deposit for apartments? Uh, I think it's... Oh, uh, what is it? I think it came from more awesome than you. I think it's one of those apartment mods. I don't remember exactly, but I think it's one of those apartment mods from more awesome from more awesome than you. Maybe somebody will remember. Moving all the families from all the neighborhoods into just one? You mean like an Uberhood? I don't do that. Yeah, he looks pretty good in my game. I like him. I like him with the hairstyle he has. Uh, Paul, he looks really good. He's a good looking elder alien. I'm too shy, shy. Now I got, now I got Kaja Gogo -Go in my head. I'm gonna send Johnny to sleep. We'll listen to New Wave while we're waiting on him to get ready for bed. <laughs> you want to try an uberhood but would, yeah I, that's another thing it would take a really long time to get through i don't like mixing up the neighborhoods i don't know why i just have some kind of weird thing where i just don't like no don't get drink i was gonna have him brush his teeth but we don't have a medicine cabinet so never mind so i guess it's time to turn off new wave and hit the sack i don't like it i don't like mixing the sims i'm just i like everything to be pure <laughs> I don't want Strange Town mixed with Pleasant View. <laughs> but I know a lot of a lot of people really do like to play that way, and that's totally cool with me. Just not my particular style. <laughs> yeah, a round would take a long time to get through all the houses, it definitely would. But I mean it's no different than playing all three of the neighborhoods at the same time, like is what I'm doing. I'm playing all three base game neighborhoods, plus I'm playing two custom neighborhoods, plus I'm working on my Sims 3 neighborhood. What have I done? <laughs> you can hear flies. They're probably down there on those spaghetti plates. Okay, Jill's waking up. Let's get her ready for school. Somebody needs to clean these toilets. Jill's been puking in all the toilets. She's going to use the bathroom, take a shower, and then we'll get her some breakfast. I guess she'll have to eat leftover spaghetti. Spaghetti. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Edgewood. I'm playing Edgewood and Fair Play. So. <laughs> it's a lot. But I just focus on one thing at a time. Whatever I feel like working on, that's what I work on. You're working on a neighborhood too and doing all the base game hoods. Yep. <laughs> I just can't help myself. I got to play them all. <laughs> I don't see, um, I don't see where there are flies. That's weird. Let's check on Jenny. We got to keep her needs up y'all. We don't want to have a miscarriage. Okay. She's going to the bath. Where are you going to the bathroom at? Why'd you go all the way over here? That makes no sense. You take the music from the newer Sims' radio stations and put them in all your games? That's a good idea. Although I love the Sims 2 music so much. The last thing you remember is the Poverty Challenge and Anthony. Oh yeah, we're way, way on past that. But Anthony's in my new neighborhood though. He's in my Edgewood. He's a cult leader now. <laughs> 
he he's the leader of the cult in Edgewood. Yeah, he's come he's come so far. <laughs> you need a six month break from Pleasant View at least. <laughs> I have had to take breaks from Pleasant View. Johnny, what are you doing? What are you doing? She needs to go eat. Oh my god, go eat, go eat. I'm just chatting away over here. She wants to make cereal and toaster pastries. Let's make some to toaster pastries. I feel like those are a little bit more filling than cereal. Maybe not, but. You played a mega hood. Brandy married Buzz. Wow, that kind of, I can kind of see that. I can kind of see that happening. <laughs> Thanks, Zinnia. Thanks for stopping by. I don't know who Jason Derulo is. But he sings his own name in Simlish for The Sims 3. That's pretty cool. <laughs> All right, Jill. What are you doing, Jill? Jenny, Jill, whichever one you are. You got to go to school in six minutes. You're not going to have time to eat your toaster pastry. Well, maybe you will. Hurry up. Give her her toaster pastry. You don't have to be so proper about it. <laughs> oh, yeah. I am using the death in childbirth mod, but I hope she's going to be okay. I hope she's gonna be okay, y'all. I haven't had any issues with it yet. Okay, Jill had to go to school. That would be so sad if they ended up having twins and then Paul had to raise them himself. Oh my gosh, don't say it, don't say it. <laughs> oh my gosh. He's the guy who always sings his name. <laughs> I don't know what that is. <laughs> Let's check on everybody. Paul's doing great. So you know what? You're doing so good, Paul. Why don't you go clean these toilets? <laughs> go clean the toilets. I know the one upstairs needs to be cleaned. It's really gross. Oh, hey. Hush, hush. This is my favorite one. Hush, hush. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hush, hush. Oh, you were trying to tell me it was playing. I didn't hear you. <laughs> now I gotta go listen to that song after this. I always have to listen to it when I hear it in The Sims. <laughs> I like Muse too. I especially like um, their older stuff. Not, I don't really so much like their newer stuff, but I like their old stuff. That used to be me and Mr. Pleasant used to listen to that when we first started dating. So that like it reminds me of those early days, being in love. <laughs> People trying to get their name out say their names at the beginning of the song I, I miss that i'm totally missed what you're saying there <laughs> okay i want to keep an eye on jenny because i want to make sure she's okay she already wants to go on a date she wants to kiss oh come here give him a kiss give him a romantic kiss you haven't had any attention since you got pregnant <laughs> Yeah, I, I like, uh, what's the name of the album with a black hole on it? Black Holes. <laughs> you guys know what I'm talking about? I think it's something like that. Here, let me look it up. Black Holes and Revelations. Oh, that reminds me of, of whenever I first started dating Mr. Pleasant. That's a I love that album. That's my favorite one. <laughs> <laughs> um, Bill, oh no, the bills are due. Let's pay the bills. Somebody pay the bills. Paul can pay the bills. He's doing quite well. Go get your mail. Who is this? Cooper Rossi. Thank you, Cooper, for delivering those bills to us. <laughs> In your pleasant view, you're on the generation of Daniel and Mary Sue's great grandchildren. Whoa. You got further than I ever got, that's for sure. <laughs> I only got to like their grandchildren. What's their 2006 album? What's it called, Christina? I'm not a 
I'm not that up to date with all their album names. I just know I love that one album because they were like Mr. Pleasant's favorite band when we first met, so he kind of got me into it. Her husband reminds her of black holes. Yes. <laughs> the 2006 was the black holes in Revelations. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's the one I like too. It's really good. You love the Smith's home. Yeah, I do too. Grass right in the middle of the desert. <laughs> they must be paying a fortune for that grass. Let me tell you, I live in the desert and we had grass put in in our yard and it costs us a fortune to have that grass because we have to run sprinklers like three times a day in the summer because it's so hot and dry. And our water bill is like outrageous every summer, but we've got green grass. <laughs> Every artist has that one album, yeah. All right, let's check on Jenny and see how she's doing. You know what? Let's also go ahead. Let's invite. This will be a really good time to invite Ophelia over. Where's Johnny? Is he eating, he's eating his breakfast. Let's have him put these, put away leftovers, and then we're going to call up Ophelia and invite her over and propose to her. And they're not going to get married yet until we get back to Ophelia, but they can at least go ahead and get engaged. Yeah, Black Holes and Revelations. That's my favorite one, too. Um, I did put the live stream schedule on Discord. Yeah, I did. I put it on there like three times. Well, I put it in there once in announcements, and then I also put it in um, sub chat, too. Okay, let's call Ophelia. Invite over. And let me double check, but I know I put it in there because somebody was telling me it wouldn't load right. Yep, it's under announcements, my live stream schedule, or updates, I'm sorry. It's under updates in the Discord. Okay, what just happened? Why are we going so fast? <laughs> okay, Ophelia's coming over. <laughs> and I want to check on everybody else real quick. Fine. Doing okay. Are they like not getting along? What is he talk? What is she talking about? I can't wait to see uh, Johnny and Ophelia's babies. That's all I can say. Thank you so much for the follow, Kira. And Johnny, let's go outside and wait for Ophelia. Go out on the porch. Oh, here she is. She's here, and she's prego too, y'all. She's prego too. So we're gonna get to see really soon. <laughs> Remember, they tried for baby on their own. Like, she invited Johnny over, and first thing she did was try for baby. <laughs> yeah, I always thought the grass was also to show, like, how well, how much better off they are than the other families that they can afford grass. But that's just coming from my personal experience with how much grass costs. <laughs> So maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> yeah, the baby's gonna have an uncle or aunt the same age. I know, isn't that crazy? <laughs> Jenny loves green stuff. Yes, she does. Okay, so what are they doing? Oh my God, no, you can't go relax in your... Oh my God, okay. <laughs> Thank you for the follow, Cinnamon Tea. Okay, so the first thing they did is went to their parents' room, his parents' room. Oh my goodness. Well, I mean, she's already pregnant, so I guess we'll just let them have their privacy for a few minutes. Then when they get done with that, <laughs> they can propose. And Jenny's talking to Paul about engagement. Maybe she's, oh, she's congratulating him on being engaged to her? That was a weird one. Yeah, they were eager to woohoo. They haven't seen each other in a while. <laughs> They're still in that young, love phase where they're woohooing all the time <laughs> yeah in their parents room i don't think i'd be doing that in my parents room when they're just in the other room but i'm not a sim so what can i say let's have jenny um go to the bathroom here oops let's get her some lunch and then she'll be ready to go lay down again eat some get some spaghetti and look at Paul. He's being so nice. He's helping with the housework and everything. Uh-oh. <laughs> He's helping with the housework and, and everything while Jenny is taking it easy with her pregnancy. He's such a good uh, family man. <laughs> She's going to see. She's not going to see him. I'm going to have her come out the other way. 
she's gonna come out this way. No, 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 don't go that way. Why are you going that? Come over, come in here. <laughs> don't go that. They never go the way I want them to go. Okay, she didn't see him. She came this way. All right, let's ha get leftovers. Let's see if she comes through. Okay, here we go. She didn't see anything. She she probably heard noises coming from in there, and she was like, uh, I'm just going to go this way. <laughs> Have yourself some spaghetti lunch. And, Paul, why don't you join her? Go ahead and join her with some spaghetti. And these two are done. That was a weird, weird thing to do. Now, let's. Ha I want him to propose to her, but I want it to be kind of romantic. Okay, let him go to the bathroom. No secrets. <laughs> Word spreads fast in this family. Jill's relatives heard about her. Report. Oh, she got 100 simoleons. Okay, I'm going to write that down in my spreadsheet so that I can remember we need to start a bank account for her. Um, and put 100 simoleons in there. She can take that to college with her. So I'm going to put start bank account. Very good, very good. And where did Johnny go? Okay, he's still in the bathroom. Let's have him go out here on the front porch. I don't know, is that romantic on the front porch? Maybe in the back? Let's go on the back deck. <laughs> go back here, they gotta get some privacy. I want him to go out of the house. Go back here and let's call Ophelia over. Oh, she's on, now she's on the front porch. Okay, go on the front porch. God. I'm just trying to set something up here a little bit nicer than in the bathroom. <laughs> That's right. There's something in the water in this house. Okay, Jill just got home. Yes, we know how hot you think Ophelia is. So let's propose engagement to her. Right next to the dirty old moldy newspaper. <laughs> oh, we got a meme. Okay, let's wait for the engagement. Then we'll do a meme. Oh, I love you so much, Ophelia. I've loved you all my life. Be my wife. I'm gonna. We're gonna have a child. Let's let's have a family band together. <laughs> I imagine that's what he's saying. Aww. And of course she said yes. So now they're engaged. And next time we get back to Ophelia, we're gonna have a lovely wedding over at Ophelia's house, and Johnny's gonna move in with her. So we can't forget before we leave this house, we need to put Johnny's microphone in his uh, inventory. Okay, I got a save game. I got a commercial break and two memes. So let's save. <laughs> let's do a screenshot. Okay, we'll do a screenshot too. If we're going to do a screenshot, let's at least have them do a kiss or something. Hug. Do a hug. Aww. That's sweet. Let's get a screenshot of that. And you can see her ring too. Aww. I love it. I love these two together. I think they're gonna make the cutest kid. I can't wait to see what it looks like. Okay, I got a screenshot. So now we're gonna we're gonna do two memes in a commercial break. Okay, let me see what we've got. Let me go back to memes. Oh man, I'm way down here now. Every time somebody posts one, it puts me way down at the bottom. There's a bunch of memes in here. Okay, I've already seen these. <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> Look at the Sims name. Somebody must have changed the name. Antiseptic. <laughs> Somebody had to change her name to that. I don't believe, of course, because it has the middle initial, but that's pretty good. That's a, that's a good name for a, for a maid. <laughs> My Sim at house. Me looks away for one second. My Sim on the other side of the street cooking vegan burgers. Yup. <laughs> that's exactly it. Oh, that's actually her name? Oh, what neighborhood is she in? Oh, Twinbrook? Oh, I love it. <laughs> I had no idea that was actually her name. That's cool. <laughs> yep, that's right. That's what your Sims do. That's what your Sims do. Here, we'll look at another one. I've already seen that one and that one. Me, when I'm talking to a conspiracy theorist, I don't believe you. Continue. <laughs> I love Dwight so much. I love Dwight. <laughs> okay, one more. One more. Pictured a Sim ascending up to the fourth floor bathroom in another dimension to wash dishes that he could have conveniently washed in a sink on the first floor. Yes. Yes, thank you, Joe. <laughs> 
we can all relate to that. <laughs> okay, and let's go. Let me find a commercial now. Let's see what's up. Let's see what's next. What's next? What's next? I saw a really funny commercial last night, but now I don't remember what it's called. So I can't show it to you guys. I'm not watching anything that has a band in it. Well, that's okay. You guys said it was all right. So we'll watch uh, Band Toyota TV commercial. And it says a bit of Aussie humor. Okay, let's watch this one. Why does it always auto play? Don't auto play. Oh my God. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, here we go. Um, we are watching Band's Toyota TV commercial. Let's see what we got. <laughs> Ooh. Bugger. <laughs> Bugger. Oh no. Bugger me. <laughs> Is it Band's because he's saying bugger? Bugger. <laughs> this guy is really bad at farming. Ooh, bugger. Hey, Brent. This guy's a terrible farmer. Ooh. Bugger. Bugger. <laughs> the new more powerful the bricks, topsoil planks. Something. Topsoil planks, handbrake. No! Oh my god, no. I wouldn't jump in it. Oh no, now we can't even see it because of these. Was that a baby saying bugger? <laughs> That's pretty Bugger funny me. though. I can't see it now. It'll always look good in a Hilux. Oh, that was good. That was good. Thank you, Double Dash. <laughs> Thank you for that. That was a good one. He's the sort of farmer the Sims 4 would make. <laughs> Oh boy. So we have our engagement going on. I'm just going to let these two hang out now. Let's check on Jenny again. Oh, she's so tired. She's sleeping. And let's check on Paul. He's doing okay. Going to the bathroom. And where is Jill? Oh, she needs fun. Okay, her hobby is to watch movies. So I'm going to send her down to watch a children's movie. Why can't you Why can't I click on the TV? Is it broken? Oh, it's broken. Oh, no. Okay, Paul, do you have any mechanical skill? He's got two mechanical. I think we better call somebody. We're going to call a, a mechanic or a repairman. Call service. Because that's Jill's hobby. She's got to have her TV. <laughs> she's going to, she's going to, I'm going to let her do whatever she's doing now. She's dancing. Yeah. So, repairman, come on over and fix our TV, please. And she's going to dance. I love the little kids' dance animations. Yeah, that's fine. This is so cute. She's dancing to the new wave. <laughs> I don't think it's banned in the U.S. I don't think we would ban something for the word bugger. I don't know, though. It just says banned. That doesn't mean it is. <laughs> It is. It's so cute. So we're going to get our second baby bump today in just a couple of hours. Yay. And then we just have one more day. I cannot wait to see what these babies are going to be. Oh, I said babies. I'm already expecting twins. <laughs> she really likes New Wave. I got to remember that. I got to remember she likes New Wave. Yep, called a mechanic to repair the TV. <laughs> you know what? I kind of want, now that I have the random radio station mod, I was thinking of giving, like, trying to remember what my Sims' favorite music is. So, like, whatever they turn it on to, I would assume is their favorite music. So, like, Johnny likes 50s music. Jill likes New Wave. She didn't turn it on New Wave, but she really seems to enjoy it. <laughs> Yeah, go into her older brother's room to dance. Yeah, I used to sneak in my older brother's room when he wasn't home and like look at all his stuff 
he used to have a bunch of mad magazines and I would sneak in there and look at his mad magazines. <laughs> <laughs> oh yay so it's 6 p.m that means let's see let's check our ages here um we have paul is 59 jenny is 42 johnny is 21 years old now and jill is 11 so tomorrow oh ophelia's leaving tomorrow um we'll also be having oh my gosh we're gonna have a birthday party for jill and the new baby's gonna be born like at the same time or the baby will be born after the birthday party. So tomorrow's going to be an exciting day. Yeah, I used to love Mad Magazines too. <laughs> it's like a... Um, did you ever watch see Mad TV? It's like a sketch comedy. It's like a comedy thing. It's like a comedy magazine. It has a lot of satire and stuff in it. It's pretty funny. I want that dance for adults, yeah. <laughs> I loved Mad TV. Mad TV was way better than Saturday Night Live. I've never been able to watch Saturday Night Live. This sucks. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry if you like it, but I don't. I miss Mad TV, though. I still watch, like, old, ep old clips of Mad TV. Hey, I'm doing good. How are you? Yeah, I, I know he wants to see a relative get married. I have that. Oh, I thought I had it locked in. What do you mean relative gets engaged? I guess that was Jenny. I had I mean, that must have been Jenny. Somebody had that. Potato salad sketch. I don't remember that one. I don't remember potato salad. I used to love Stuart. I love the Stuart sketch. Look what I can do. Look what I can do. <laughs> and Dot. I don't know why those are so funny to me. <laughs> thank you so much for the sub, uh, Big Sand. Thank you very much. All right, let's see what we can do. So, Paul, well, you can just go ahead and go to sleep, I guess. Get get up. At 7.39, I don't want to send you to sleep at 7.39. Let's see what else you can do. He wants to meet someone new, classic dance. He wants to be best friends with Jill, so let's have him go hang out with Jill. Let's have Jill go downstairs and hang out with him. She wants to talk to, she wants to play with her mom. Oh man, we haven't been taking good care of Jill. Hold on. Go to the bathroom, eat some leftovers, and then you can talk to your dad, I guess. Hot drinks. Really get you going. Your relative wants never work? Hmm, I need to watch and see if this one does. I think mine do. I swear I had that um, locked in for somebody earlier. And Paul, what are you doing? Going to turn off the radio. He's like, turn off that racket, you darn kids. Oh, here we go. Second baby bump second baby bump all right so we've just got 24 hours until the baby or babies come and she wants some loving she's gonna go kiss him romantically she's going on her own i think it's so funny that he went upstairs to turn off the radio he's like that's enough new wave johnny let's go get you something to eat johnny he turned it off again <laughs> he's like i don't want to hear this i don't think he likes new wave and look, oh, he wants to buy a car. You want to buy a car for the family? Okay, I think we can do that. Let's see. Look what I can do. Look what I can do. Stuart. It was Stuart. Yeah, I love that one. <laughs> I really like Stuart's mom better than Stuart. Thank you for the follow, P P Pitora. Okay, eat some toaster pastry. I don't know what to tell you. Um, let's let's get the family a car. So I'm going to go and let's see, one, two, three, four, five. We're going to have to put a driveway right here. So I'm going to move this back and the, the driveway will flatten it out, which probably isn't going to look great. Let's see. Let's see how bad it looks. If it looks really terrible. Okay, it won't even go there. Um, because we have the light. Okay, never mind. I don't like that. It's gonna mess up the whole yard. I hate it. I hate it. <laughs> it's gonna mess everything up. 
Dang it, I don't like that. Okay, you're not getting a car. You're not getting a car because I don't like what the driveway does to your house. <laughs> no car for you. Oh, thank you so much for the follow, Rena. Let's keep an eye on these two. So they're gonna eat some toaster pastry together. Are they friends yet? Yeah, so he's friends with his sister, his mom, and Paul. And that's another reason I like to let Johnny live here for a round before we get him married, so that he can kind of have a better relationship with his family and spend some time with them before he moves out on his own and becomes a, a real man. <laughs> Oh, yay, vintage wallpapers. I love it, Marta. <laughs> yeah, he'll get, he can get a car when he moves out. They can definitely get a car over on Ophelia's lot. I'll, I'll get them a car on this lot, too. I just have to think about how I want to, what I want to do about that. Maybe we could add on a garage or something. But that's for another time. I'm not going to deal with that right now. <laughs> Everybody doesn't get a car. <laughs> You ended up changing the fences so they attach to the sides of the house. That's probably a good idea. Like s making the fence stop right here. That's probably a good idea. Okay, who needs to go to bed? It's 947. No, get out of there. I never did lock that door. Where is Jenny? Okay, she's, oh, she's been up here puking in the friggin' toilet again. Thank you for the follow, Togato good chance. <laughs> I don't know how to say that. Thank you for the follow. No, 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 no. No, don't. Jenny, no. No. What is she doing? Reciting poetry. <laughs> She's reciting poetry. No, 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 no. Go use this filthy toilet. Use the filthy toilet. Go eat something and go to sleep. I don't think there's anything left to eat. I think she's gonna have to cook something at 10.30 at night. So let's make, make some dessert. Make some peanut butter cookies. That'll be nice. And you also need to get to bed. Oh, are they playing darts together? How cute, he's playing darts with his little sister. That's so cute. <laughs> yeah, poetry for the baby. Oh yes, let me lock the door now. Now that there's nobody in there. Where's the door? Okay, lock. Allow me only. Nobody else can get in there. Get in there. What am I saying? Okay, Jenny's gonna make some cookies. Johnny, Johnny's turned it on the radio everywhere he goes. What station did he turn it on? I don't know what that is. Is that New Wave again? What are you doing, Johnny? Are you seriously? No, you can't. <laughs> well, I guess you can. He wants to take a late night swim, y'all. Look, you, you're too afraid. You're too afraid to even... What was the point in that, Johnny? What was the point of that? <laughs> okay, so you need to go to bed now. Nice try. Nice try. Go turn this off. <laughs> Buzz was fighting with Crystal. Oh, yeah, I remember that. Go use the bathroom. Go to sleep. And then Jill. Oh, my gosh. Jill's asleep. Okay, everybody's asleep now except for Jenny. Or everybody's going to sleep now except for Jenny. She's going to have some peanut butter cookies. Some late night peanut butter cookies. Oh, that sounds good. I haven't had peanut butter cookies in a long time. Yeah, I I wish it did too. I wish you could just block it for specific sims. That would be nice. Are you eating your cookies with a fork? What kind of animal are you? Seriously? Just pick them up with your hands. <laughs> Whatever, I do what I want. <laughs> hey, genuinely. <laughs> okay, so eat eat these too. Eat all the cookies. And then put these away as single plates. I think I want to, I think today after the stream, I might work on my uh, grocery store for Edgewood. I love building grocery stores. I don't know why it's so much fun to me. <laughs> That's like my favorite thing to make in a, in a uh, neighborhood is a grocery store. Clothing stores are pretty fun too. I had a lot of fun making Nora's clothing store. 
Um, Shim Jim, that is a mod of uh, the single plates. It's called, uh, what is the mod called, guys? The single plates mod. I can't remember what it's called. Somebody will tell you in chat what it's called. It's not called like single plates. I can't remember what it's called. Simply leftovers. Yes, thank you, Sabrina. Uh, it's a mod called Simply Leftovers. It's on Mod The Sims. I do too. I love. I think that's what's so fun about the grocery stores is I love putting everything on the shelf. It's just so much fun. It's so therapeutic to me. I like to listen to a podcast and just fill up my shelves. <laughs> Flower stores, yes, I want to make a flower shop too in Edgewood. Right now, we don't have anybody to run one, but I, I'm, eventually we will. Probably a child of one of our Sims will grow up to be a florist, so I can't wait to see who that's going to be. <laughs> okay, she's going to go to sleep now. I haven't even worked on a skill for her at all. She's wanted to gain a skill point. I haven't worked on it at all. Where's your bed? I can't find anything. Go to sleep, and tomorrow's the big day. Tomorrow is Jill's teenage birthday, and our new babies are arriving. I am so excited, and I can't wait to give Jill her teenage makeover, start working on her teen stuff. We need to make over her room, too, because her room is like a little girl's room, and we need to get rid of that hideous carpet, for sure. <laughs> Rudolph the florist. <laughs> The gardener could. That's true. The gardener could do it. But I'd rather somebody who is, like, specifically into flower arranging do that. Jenny has the night off. Okay, great. Aw, they're cuddling. Look at those cuddles. That's so sweet. Oh, come here. I love these cuddles so much. This is my. This is one of my favorite things about The Sims 2. Just those little animations. I know I say this every time, but I love it so much. I'm sorry. <laughs> Okay, oh no, Jenny, get to the bathroom. Oh no, did she pee herself? Oh no, y'all, I think she, I don't think she made it. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> she peed her pants right in front of the toilet. Oh no, okay, you gotta go take a bath now. <laughs> go take a bath. Yeah, the TV's still broken. The repairman should be here today. Our repair lady, whoever shows up, will be here today to fix it. Poor Jenny. And I'm going to have Paul come in. Oh, he's got to go really bad, too. You better get to the bathroom. Get to the bathroom. I don't know why she ran all the way over there when she could have just come to this bathroom. She may... Oh, look. That's where he's going, to. Why do they never use this one? It's so annoying. <sighs> all right. Paul, he's going to come and clean this toilet because that's gross. You don't want to take a bath next to that. The newspaper won't even be delivered. I'm actually, you know what I'm going to do? Pull after he gets out of the bathroom, we're just going to have him just clean. Um, I'm going to use the macrotastics, and we're just going to have him clean. Tastics, is that what it is? And let's check on Jill because she's got to go to school. Um, She needs, oh, she wants to do her homework. Oh, no, she wants to do her homework, but she also needs a shower. What should we prioritize? Oh, come here. Homework. Homework gets priority. Do your homework. You can shower later. <laughs> and Johnny, he, this family just wants to go fishing so bad and there's nowhere for them to fish. Johnny, I don't know. You want to meet someone new, go fishing, be best friends with Jill, and get married. So I really can't help you with any of those. I just saw Ophelia walk by. No, I don't have the 15-minute homework mod, but I have partial homework credit. So, like, whatever my Sims get done, they get credit for that. So, if she gets 50% of her homework done, then she gets 50% credit, if that makes sense. Who is that? Okay, Johnny's just going to do a little daydreaming. I guess, Johnny, let's have you go take a shower and get some breakfast and then we'll have him practice his singing again he needs to get better at singing because he's not very good and we're going to start preparing for jill's birthday party so as soon as jill gets home from school we're going to throw the party she's going to age up to a teenager and then after that the baby's going to be born yay <laughs> yes jill's birthday is today <laughs> i just saw that after i was talking about it did we not pay the bills i thought oh we didn't pay them did we we just got them out okay so after uh, Paul gets done cleaning, then he's going to pay the bills. 
He's cleaning up the house. Yeah, we could make them a pond. There's not really a lot of room for one, though. I don't know. I think I won't. They already have a pool. Thank you for the follow. Al Alloy? Alloy? Thank you. <laughs> um, Johnny, does he have a secondary aspiration? I don't know if we gave him one or not. No, we didn't give him one yet. Okay, that's great. Good idea. Let's see. Let's calculate Johnny's secondary aspiration, y'all. Let's see what he's got. Because he's a popularity sim, but we don't know what his secondary is. Did we do... Did we give Ophelia one? Yeah, Ophelia's a secondary romance. That's right. Um, it, I have... Johnny is a secondary romance. I have that written in my spreadsheet. Thank you for the follow, Inixis. So did we calculate it and I just didn't give it to him? I don't remember. <laughs> I'm going to calculate it again. I don't know why I would have written that if we didn't. But let's calculate it again. Hold on. Let me find my calculator. It's way down here. I haven't used it in a long time. All right. Let's see. We're going to go find his interests. And where are your interests? Where are your interests? There they are. And let's calculate really quick and see if we get romance. So one, eight, six, nine, zero, three, four, ten, ten, two, zero, six, two, ten, one, eight, four, zero. Um, oh yeah, well, no. No, we got popularity and romance tied. So I would have gone with romance, but I'm doing a new thing now. So I'm going to roll and see if he if he gets popularity, he's not going to have a secondary aspiration. He's going to be double popularity. So I'm going to go to random.org and I'm going to roll one through 100. If it's 50 or under, he'll be double popularity. If it's 51 or over, he'll be secondary romance. And it's nine, so he is not getting a secondary aspiration he, because we rolled popularity. So that's how I'm kind of doing that now. Um, so we can give him, like, let's give him slower need and comfort and social and comfort. That'll work. He's going to be popular. My mom says I'm a catch. I'm popular. You guys remember that song from the 90s or is it just me? <laughs> I used to love that song. I think it was like a one hit wonder. You do? Yay, I'm not the only one. <laughs> yeah, Ophelia is going to be the cheater. <laughs> I remember that song coming on MTV in the summer. Um, in the summer whenever I was home from school and when MTV used to actually play music videos and they used to have like summer summer beach party and it would be like a bunch of people dancing on the beach and then they would play music videos in between I don't know it was stupid but I watched it when I was a teenager or a very young teenager I know yeah well they still might have a bit of an open marriage oh Johnny's just gonna help himself to a drink all right, he's day drinking. And the repair lady is here. Not a surf. That's what it is, Kristen. Yes, not a surf. I love that song. Oh, I got to go listen to that song now. <laughs> I haven't thought about that song in a long time. They had a few other songs, did they? That's the only one I know by them. Okay. He's nervous. Johnny's nervous about his wedding, I guess. Let's check on everybody else. Pole's still cleaning. Look at him. Oh, let's see what Jenny turned it on. Is she? Are they just turning it on New Wave now? Is she just turning the radio on and off? She's like, I don't like that song. Try again. Look, look at her. Jenny, what's wrong with you? She's up here like starving and exhausted. Like, I'm just going to turn the radio on and off over and over and over again. Wow. <laughs> Let's get her some food. Um, I don't know what's in here, but just eat whatever. Eat it. She can't pick a station. Yeah. <laughs> DJ cut off. <laughs> I don't know what, th what station that is. 
Is that still new wave? I can't tell. That's what pregnant pregnancy does to you. That's what happens when you get pregnant. <laughs> it's a pregnancy symptom. Man, Paul is just going to town cleaning this house. You're such a good man, Paul. Thank you. Thank you so much for that. There's so much to clean. Oh, now he's paying the bills. He got the house cleaned. He's paying the bills. <laughs> She's gone crazy. Don't blame her. She's pregnant probably with alien twins. Okay, we got to get her. She's got to get some sleep. She's got to get some sleep before the birthday party. <laughs> and Paul, what can you do? Let's go ahead and get you in the shower. You need to start getting ready. Does he have any cooking skill? Yeah, he's got three cooking skills, so he could he could make something for the party, I guess. No, we'll just get those cookies out. Oh, that's what I've been feeding her is cookies. <laughs> She's been eating cookies all the time. He is, he's such a good husband and dad. He's taking care of everything while Jenny rests during her pregnancy. He's making sure the house is clean. He's getting everything ready for the party and just letting her sleep. He's a very good family sim. When he gets done with that, he can clean that up. Um, I'm gonna let him have a little lunch and then we'll get, I'm gonna go ahead and buy the birthday cake as well. Let's see, let's buy the birthday cake for Jill. I'm gonna put it right here. I want a pink one. I'm gonna put it right here. Cause she likes the color pink. <laughs> this is the alien twins trying to contact the mothership. Thank you so much for the follow flaming fire. Come on, Paul. We gotta get this show on the road. You're gonna, your babies are gonna be born today. What? You what? You don't like your sister's birthday cake, Johnny? Well, too bad. Too bad. <laughs> and didn't? We, oh yeah, we decided that our alien Sims would not have body hair. They would only have head hair. That's gonna be like a genetic thing. We're gonna, we're gonna have with our aliens uh, Sims that have alien skin. Go ahead and have some cookies for lunch. And why don't you go to the bathroom? And we're just getting ready for the party. We got drinks already prepared. <laughs> we're gonna invite Buck. I don't know who else, Buck and Ophelia at least. He hates strawberry cake, yeah. He was like, I hate that cake. Well, you don't have to eat any, Johnny. It's not your birthday. You don't get to pick the cake. <laughs> Is it supposed to be like the house from the Brady Bunch? Hmm, I don't know. I've never heard that before. I don't remember what the Brady Bunch house looks like, to be honest with you. I haven't watched that show in a long time. Yeah, we should teleport Tycho over. We totally should. Um, because he's he's kind of in their age group. Let me check my spreadsheet, actually. He's... So, Tycho and Dawn are in age group three, and Buck and Jill are in generation two, but that's okay. They're close enough that they can still hang out together. Yeah, Johnny's buff. Look at those abs, y'all. He has got... He's he's in good shape. Oh, he's gonna hang out with his dad. <laughs> I want cake, too. <laughs> I want cake. I'm about to... I'm about to start... I'm about to go on another diet. God help me. God help me. I don't need any more cake. <laughs> That's right. He's their cousin, too. You get cake on Monday? I'm jealous. <laughs> Grocery store birthday cake. Yep, there's nothing like it. There's nothing like the nostalgia of a good old sugary birthday cake from the grocery store. <laughs> and let's, I want to check on everybody. I'm going to let Jill sleep as long as possible. And I think at two o'clock, we're going to have Paul. Long, long, favorite thing in the world <laughs> oh your mom's making you a cake for your birthday that's even better homemade cake is the best that's so nice what kind of cake are you gonna get i'm gonna live vicariously through you <laughs> Ooh, chocolate and salted caramel okay stop that and go call let's go throw a party a birthday party <laughs> You own so many sofas and chairs and your sims still sit on the floor. 
Oh, I love lemon cake. And I love carrot cake. You know what? I love all cake. Let's just, except the only kind of cake I don't like is German chocolate cake. I do not like German chocolate. I don't like that coconut on it. You're getting a chocolate chip cake with chocolate honeycomb icing? Oh my God. That sounds delicious. That is going to be good. Okay, so we're going to invite Ophelia. And we are not inviting Buzz, okay? Um, Pascal. Let's invite Pascal, too. And Laszlo. Let's invite all the Curiouses. The Curious is over. And then uh, we will teleport Tycho over. Because I feel like Pascal would bring bring his son over, you know? Hot drinks really get you going. Warms you up when you feel you're slow. When not everybody came. And now where's the sim blender? There it is. Let's teleport. Teleport over Tycho. Curious. There we go. There he is. I love this kid so much, guys. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why it's called German chocolate. I truly don't know why we call it that, but that's what we call it. I don't know. It's called German chocolate cake in America. Um, it probably has nothing to do with German Germany or anything, but we call it German chocolate cake. And it is a light chocolate cake that has a coconut, coconut chocolate frosting on it. It's disgusting. <laughs> I hate it. <laughs> Yeah, it's not German. It's not actually German. Oh, you think the last name was German? That could be it. I hate it, Christina. I hate it so much. <laughs> it's a really popular cake. Could be from German immigrants or something. Yeah. Oh, it was invented by American baker Samuel German. That's why it's called German chocolate, guys. Because I, I know people who are from Germany in the chat are like, what? I've never heard of that. <laughs> His last name was German. It was named after him. I hate it. A lot of people like it. <laughs> I had no idea that was why it was called German chocolate cake. So that's, I learned something new today. <laughs> Ooh, I love red velvet cake. Yum, yum, yum. Look at this. Look at this child. Look at this child. <laughs> oh man, I love this kid. He's my favorite. He looks like a 70s Tom Jones. <laughs> he does. Okay, so he's here. He's here and looks like Chloe came. And that's it. That's it. Nobody else came. That's so sad. Hey, is Johnny available to talk? Yeah, I guess we could have invited uh, Rip here. Wait, Chloe, don't leave. Don't leave. C come and greet her. Oh, he's answering the phone. Oh, she's leaving. Okay, she didn't even show up. She just happened to be walking by on the lot. Okay, Ophelia came and Laszlo came. That's nice. He's going to grow up to be a singer. <laughs> oh, the way we pronounce kielbasa. I say kielbasa. I'm sure that that's not right, but that's how we say it. <laughs> Yeah, Chloe was like, no, nah, I don't think I'm going to stick around for this party. Don't think I'm going to be sticking around for this. I'm going to let Jill or Jenny. Oh, my God. I was going to say I'm going to let Jenny sleep, but I think I'm going to wake her up and send her to the bathroom so she'll be ready for the party by the time Jill gets home. And where the heck is Johnny? Oh, he's talking on the phone. Oh, Buck, I forgot Buck. Oh, crap. I remembered Tycho, but I forgot Buck. Thanks, guys. So teleport, summon, Grant, but Grant. He probably didn't come because he was at school, but now he's here. Okay, so we got Tycho, we got Buck, Ophelia, and Laszlo came. Laszlo's the only curious that came. Thank you for coming, Laszlo. And as soon as Jill gets herself ready, we can go ahead and just age up. Or Jenny, as soon as Jenny gets herself ready, let's check on Jill. Okay, you know what? We got to take care of Jill real quick. I'm just going to have her um, use the bathroom and take a quick shower, and then she's going to be ready to age up. Oh, thank you so much for the cheer, Nick. Thank you. Oh, and we got a meme time. Okay, we'll do a meme before the party, before we have the age up. Let me save, too. I don't think I've saved in a while. 
talking about kill boss that makes you want some. <laughs> yeah, Buzz may have not have let him come. That's true. He may have he may have had to sneak over after school. All right, let me find a meme for us to view and enjoy. Let's see. So somebody said there was another Tycho meme down here. I gotta find that. I gotta find that. Oh, there's so many guys. There's so many. I gotta I gotta go through all these. Oh, wait, there's one with me. I saw my face. <laughs> that's my, that's a horrible face. Oh my God. <laughs> that's my, I am seriously disappointed in you face. <laughs> oh God. Okay, I'm pooping on that. <laughs> All right, let me see what else we got here. <laughs> Thank you for the cheer, Plum Bobs. <laughs> um, let me see. I wanted to see the Tycho. Oh, there's another one. <laughs> oh my God, this one's so funny. Okay, I gotta show you this. Thank you for the follow, Zeno. Thank you. When you're the guest and they forget your juicy slice. <laughs> Thank you for the follow, Felicia. <laughs> That's exactly how I'm looking at you if you don't give me my juicy slice. <laughs> Thank you. That was from uh, Hope for Us All. Thank you. Oh, no, there's another one. Oh, my gosh. Okay, I'm just, I, I feel like I'm being really conceited here just showing you the memes with my face on them, but I'm doing it anyway. <laughs> when Loki burns the omelets again. Yep, yep, that's how I feel about that. <laughs> that's how I feel about that. <laughs> Okay, I'm, I'm still trying to find the Tycho one. I'm sorry. I get distracted by my own face. I'm like a roadrunner. Okay, here it is. Here it is. <laughs> yes. Yes. This is everything to me. I love this so much. Who did this one? Oh, this was Nick. Thank you. <laughs> these are hilarious. Thank you guys for doing these. <laughs> I don't he looks like I'm an adult. He looks like a grown adult. I don't even know. Oh my god. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Oh my goodness. I'm I'm dying. I'm dying. <laughs> Your sleep paralysis demons. <laughs> okay, so we're just waiting on Jill to get ready now. She really needs to have fun, but I want her to be nice and fresh. She needs to be fresh for her party. <laughs> Hello, koala. <laughs> yeah, Tycho, smile. <laughs> That's the smile that we get. Okay, what's going on in here? Jill, oh, Jenny's playing chess with Buck. Aw. I like that. Like, maybe Buck can kind of look to Jenny as a mother figure since he doesn't have a mother. Isn't that sweet? I like that idea. Who does he look like with the teeth? Tell me, tell me. I need to know. Russian salad? What's that? He looks like a game show host. He does Finn Wolfhard. I don't know who that is. <laughs> I don't know who that is. All right, it's 5.02 p.m. So the time has come, y'all. We gotta get her down here right now. Blow out these candles. It's time, it's time. And we've got three hours until the babies. Yes. He looks like a grown man, he does. Oh, from Stranger Things, which kid? Oh, it's the hair. It's the hair that makes him look like that. I know exactly what you're talking about. It's the hair. <laughs> All right, here we go, guys. Jill's getting ready. To blow out, yes, Mike, Mike. I knew, I knew exactly what you were. I just had to think about it for a second, but it's the hair. <laughs> Here we go. We're gonna watch Jill age up to a teen. I'm so excited. You know she's gonna be adorable too. She's an adorable teenager. Here we go. Yay! So I'm so glad that Buck and Tycho could come. Her brother's here. Her bro her her soon-to-be aunt Ophelia is here, and uh, her uncle Laszlo. 
I think that's right. Uncle Laszlo is here. Aw, oh, aw, oh, thank you. I'm glad you could spend time in my stream too. Yay! Okay, that outfit. I don't know about that outfit, but she's cute. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. Okay, so she is going to be a popularity sim because she has a hidden popularity token in Sim PE. So I always follow the tokens for these sims. So she gets popularity. And let's see, her turn ons are logical and it's not going to be robots. It's not going to be robots. It's going to be logical. We'll let her keep logical and we'll put blonde hair because we're kind of hoping for her to get with Buck and we'll leave her turn off red hair. That's fine. Okay. <laughs> Oh, I got a save game. All right, let me save this game and we need to give her a makeover. She's adorable, but yes, the outfit is not. <laughs> but we can see that she likes the color red. And actually, I like her her pants and shoes. I think we just need to get her... Actually, what she's wearing is not too bad, to be honest. But I don't think it suits her as a popularity, Sam. I think we need to get her a cuter top. Um, So let's do this. Let's gussy up and let's do her makeup first and we'll see if we can find her a cute red shirt to go with that. Yes, it's Ram Head. <laughs> I like the vest. I just don't like it on her. She, we're going to have to let her eat her cake first. It would be the vest would be nice on a different kind of sim. Maybe like a more shy kind of like naturey nature type of sim, but on Jill I think she would wear something much more trendy. Um, and we might look at outfits, too. I think she's going to be very popular. She's going to be like a... Like a really popular cheerleader type of girl. Yeah, very preppy. Exactly. That's what I, that's the word I was looking for. She would definitely be preppy. And she's definitely going to be wearing... An outfit. <laughs> Get yourself an outfit. Thank you. <laughs> and thank you, I don't eat plastic. And we're definitely going to give her makeup. She would be wearing all the makeup. Maybe not that dark of makeup. There we go. And she's so pretty, y'all. She really is. Let's give her some eye. Okay, that's too dark. That's better. Maybe she'll grow up to be the mayor. She might. She might. And she likes red, so I'm probably going to give her a red outfit. I don't really want to give her red lipstick, though. Yay, big flex, Anna. <laughs> You're a shooting star. Somebody had the idea in Discord. I'm sorry, I can't remember who gave me this idea. Might have been Yidis. Um, That to do a custom Discord role for, bit, for one of the rewards... Um, one of the pleasant points rewards so that people could have something to use all their points on. I thought that was a good idea. I might try to set that up. I just think red looks too much. Red just looks too much on her. Let's give her... Oh, no, none of these are good. None of these are good. We're just going to give her like a really natural kind of lip. I wanted to give her some gloss or something. I think that's fine. That's cute. Okay, I see your commercial break, Sim Juice. We'll do that as soon as we finish with her. We'll go with that, I think. Or no, maybe one of these. Yeah, that's better. Oh, she looks so cute. <laughs> oh, you didn't say that? Okay, sorry. Maybe it was Space Dorito. Somebody said that. I don't know. I'm sorry. I can't remember who. <laughs> oh, it was Justin. Okay, that's what I thought. The eyeshadow's too dark? I don't think so. You think it is? We could go down a shade. Is that better? Oh, she's cute. She's cute. Okay, now I want to do... Um, buy clothes. So she likes red. We're going to keep that in mind. We're going to see if we can find her an outfit. As much as I like these pants, I also don't think they're... I don't think they suit her either. I think she would definitely be preppier. I don't think she would be wearing Chuck Taylors. Oh, thanks for the follow, Chris. Now get yourself an outfit. Now something like this, I definitely can see her wearing something like this. <laughs> I like this outfit. I'm going to save that. I like the baby doll shirt. 
Um, and let, I'm just going to look through real quick and see if I see anything I like better. Mm, no, I don't think that's good. No, definitely not that. Big flex, Drake. <laughs> no. No, that doesn't suit her. I really think the first one was best so far. Definitely like the first one best. And I'm not seeing anything. There's also one of those that has like white pants. I think I like the jeans better. <laughs> she has her heart set on becoming a deep sea welder. Yep. <laughs> uh, let's see. So far, I'm not seeing anything else that I like better. That's cute. I, I, you know what? I'm just going with it. I'm going with the one I like best. I'm going with this outfit. So let's put that on her. Yes. And then I don't, I don't care that much about her other outfits right now. We're just doing her every day. And then if she wants more clothes, she can tell us. So there she is. Oh, so cute. So cute. I like it. I like it. <laughs> She's got a necklace on. I love her. Okay. So the birthday is over. Now, well, the birthday is not over, but her age up is over. Okay, go watch TV. Oh my God, go watch TV and movies. She likes TV and movies for her hobby. And she's gonna join uh, Jenny and Ophelia, the two pregnant ladies over here watching TV. They're both watching the children's channel. God, what if they both had twins? <laughs> yes, I'm le letting her keep the pigtails because I love those on her. I think they look really cute. Yeah, she's gonna break all the boys' hearts. She has a granny dress in her closet. Oh, God. Well, if we need to go to a formal event, we can get her another outfit. Oh, now she's now she's hanging out with the kids. Oh, hey, Becky, thanks for the follow. <laughs> oh, her gender preference. Oh, my God, guys, I didn't even check her gender preference. I always forget. Let's check. Because you're right, if she was gay, then her relationship with Buck won't matter at all. So let's check. Uh, traits, Jill Smith, gender preference, show preferences. Nope, she's straight. She is 10 for male. She's a low straight, but she's straight. Okay. So we can continue working on her relationship with Buck, and she's actually hanging out with him now. Um, they're not friends yet. We'll see how it goes. He's going to be aging up to a teen next time we get to the Grunt household, too. <laughs> She's as straight as a bendy ruler. I love Tycho. He's adorable. He's so sweet. He, I just love him to pieces he, with his tiny nose and everything. <laughs> okay, so also a day has gone by. So let me check the ages here. So now we have Paul is 60, Jenny is 43, Johnny is 22, and Jill is now 12 years old. Okay, and let's check on Jill because she's going to be having her baby any... And like five minutes, literally, we're going to have the baby. She's going to just give birth right up here with Ophelia. Ophelia can assist her, I guess. <laughs> Oh, the party was a good time. All right, everybody had a good time. My aliens in the future will not have the small nose because I changed my pollination technicians. But, oh, she's exhausted. Okay, aren't you supposed to be having the baby, though? I'm pretty sure she's supposed to be having the baby right now. Oh, and he's going to tickle her. Okay, why don't you get out of Johnny's room? Johnny doesn't want you having a baby in his room. <laughs> oh, no, screenshot. I'm sorry. We'll get a screenshot. Um, We'll get a screenshot of something good soon. And actually, I want to get a screenshot of Jill. Let's get a screenshot of Jill sitting here with her birthday cake. And we'll get another screenshot when the baby comes. Look, she's thinking about herself. <laughs> she's like, this is my birthday. I love that. <laughs> okay, let's see. Yeah, I gave them the fertility treatment. Yes, I did. Because or the super fertility. Yes, I did because we really wanted Jill to get prego one last time. It's it's highly possible we're going to have twins. 
Yeah, she's thinking about how pretty she is. <laughs> so I'm sending Jenny. I thought Jenny was supposed to give birth at eight, but maybe it was nine. Maybe I misunderstood and it was nine. Misunderstood or maybe I forgot. I don't know. I'm going to send her into the bathroom. I don't know why I'm having her relax. She's really tired and she's about to have to labor. <laughs> We're going to do the commercial break after the baby's born, which is right now. Okay, she's in the bathroom. Paul's here. Um, Jill's here with her. She's not alone. Is there no light? Oh my god, I don't think there's a light in here. Hold on. Hold on. That is... Why is there no light in here? We can't see. There we go. Oh, Johnny, get out of here. You don't want to see this. <laughs> oh my god, it's twins! Holy crap, it's twins! <laughs> God, we got a girl. We got a girl with alien skin. We have two girls. We have two girls. We have two girls with alien skin. <laughs> oh my gosh. Two green two girls, two green babies. They didn't have another boy. Wow. Oh my gosh. So Jane, and we need another J name for a girl. Oh, look. Okay, so this one has the black alien eyes. Baby number one. Baby girl Smith. Judy. Jane and Jade. Oh, I like Jane and Jade. We're doing Jane and Jade. Oh, oh, this one has... This one has uh, uh, human eyes. So, uh, Jade has green eyes oh jade has green eyes and jane talk about getting their names mixed up <laughs> and jane has alien eyes oh i love it so much <laughs> maybe i shouldn't name their make their names so similar jade this is definitely jade number two is definitely jade but maybe we should change the first one's name to oh juniper I like Juniper. Thank you for the cheer, Plum Bobs. <laughs> Not Jelba. <laughs> um, yes, they have red hair. What the heck? They have red hair. <laughs> they do. <laughs> oh my gosh. I don't know. Jupiter is a little too out there. They're trying to be normal. They're trying to be normal. Maybe we'll go Julie and Jade. Not Juicy and Jam. <laughs> Julie and Jade. That's what we're going to go with. Julie and Jade. I like that. Okay, so first one is Julie. No, actually, I think I want to do Judy. I think I want to do Judy because it reminds me of the Jetsons. <laughs> Judy and Jade. That's what we're gonna, that's what I'm gonna do. Judy and Jade. Okay, so Judy Smith and Jade Smith. Aw, oh my God, she wants to have 10 kids. No, <laughs> you don't have time to have 10 kids. Oh Lord, have mercy. Oh my God, I don't know what to do about this 10 kids. I don't know what to do about this 10 kids, y'all. Should we go for it? <laughs> Should we try? <laughs> screenshot, yes. Now's a good time to do a screenshot. Okay, hold on. Let me get let me get that off the screen. He he's thinking about Johnny while he's holding his new baby. He's like, I remember when Johnny was just a little baby like this. Aww. <laughs> She's 43 years old, I know. Um, I'm gonna lock it in and we can we can decide but right now we've got to get some cribs for these babies Now I'm probably gonna leave the babies down here for now so that they don't have to keep walking upstairs um, Let's see. Let's get our cribs We're gonna buy two cribs. We're gonna buy two inexpensive cribs And we'll do just pink in color doesn't really matter right now and I'm gonna put them I'm gonna put one here God, where am I going to put the other one? 
Oh, you know what? We'll put them in here. We'll put them in here. This will be the little nursery for now. So we'll put one here and can I fit both of them in here with all these doors? Okay, you know what? I'm gonna get rid of this door. Let's get rid of this door. And then, cause we don't need that anyway. They never even use that bathroom anyway. And then let's put this one here. Okay. <laughs> Maybe we can, I don't know. I'm trying to make it. Okay, that's better. That's better. And then we'll put a little lamp in here. And then we'll be good. We can put them down because Jenny is so exhausted. Like she needs to get some sleep. Let's put these babies down. Oh, she wanted to, to buy a crib. So put Jade in the crib and then Paul, we'll have Paul take care of him. Oh, he's really tired too. <laughs> put Judy in the crib and then you both go to sleep until the babies cry. That's all you can do. Just go to sleep. Oh, he had red hair. He had red hair before. Okay, so that's where they got the red hair from. Yeah, Johnny and Jill are gonna be able to help out with the babies. That's true. Oh, she's they're coming to see. Oh, they're all so happy. Jill's really happy to have two little sisters. Oh, <laughs> so cute. OK, so we got two little green skinned, red haired babies, little girls. One has green eyes and one has alien eyes. Oh, it's adorable. I'm so happy. Okay, so we got a uh, we got a commercial break a little while ago. Somewhere, didn't we? 13 minutes ago? Oh my god, I'm sorry. Okay, so let me save, and then we'll do a commercial break, and then we'll get back to the babies. Yes, they have normal noses. They have normal noses. I'm so excited. They're going to be cute. <laughs> let me find a commercial, guys. It always puts me back to exactly the same place. It's so weird. I got to scroll all the way back up to find another one. Hot sticks. We already watched hot sticks. Okay, here's one uh, submitted by Marta number two. Oh, I don't think this one's been. I think my mods missed this one, but that's okay. We're going to watch it anyway. It looks funny to me. Uh, the title is just sin to help. <laughs> Send to help. I don't know what that means, but it looks funny. So we're going to watch it. Here we go. Here we go. I know we're getting to all your submissions today, Marta. <laughs> Marta number two. Here we go, guys. <laughs> what is this guy? What? <laughs> what is happening? Is he dying? <laughs> yeah, I can tell it's edited. <laughs> okay, that was it. That was it. <laughs> that was pretty funny. Oh, that's funny. Do 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 do. I'm not gonna show that though, because it'll probably get copyright. That was scary, okay? That was frightening. <laughs> Thank you, Marta. <laughs> Thank you for that. There was your commercial break. You got to see a guy gasping for air for 20 seconds. <laughs> I did. I liked it very much. <laughs> okay, so these two are going to go to bed. Johnny, I don't know what you're going to do. I don't care. I don't know. Go eat some cake. And Jill, we need to take care of Jill. So Jill's already wanting to invite someone over. But it's too late at night. She's got to go to sleep. It's bedtime for you. And we've got to make over her room, too. Ooh, let's do that really quick. So we're going to make over Jill's room. She likes the color red. I guess I didn't have to get rid of her dresser, but I think I am. I think I did. I think I am anyway and her bed. I'm just gonna get rid of everything. And we're gonna start fresh. We've got a blank slate here. <laughs> thank you, thank you for the congratulations on my poop. That was thanks to Marta who sent me some poop messages this morning. And then I pooped right back at her and now I have poop. <laughs> I never get tired of it. 
So let's see what we can find. I'm gonna look in my collections and see if we can find a nice bedroom set for her. Um, the family doesn't have a ton of money, so I have to be kind of careful. I don't want anything too expensive. That's kitchen. Um, I do have a lot of, I don't want to do bonbon for her. Mata bedroom. This one's kind of nice. We could do this one and do a nice red. How expensive are these? 1200 Oh God, no, that's too expensive. Let's see. What else do we have? Bakery, living, living. Sorry, guys. It's going to take me forever to look through all of my, <laughs> all of my collections. Thank you so much for the cheer, Plum Bobs. We got Bayside. We got Spectrum. Cooper. These are none of these are bedrooms. Where are the bed? Oh, me a bedroom. Okay, let's see. No, three thousand for a bed is way too much. Five forty for a bed. Okay, so we're gonna do the rhodium bedroom. <laughs> I guess you sent me some poops this morning. We're gonna do the rhodium bedroom, and I'm gonna find a nice red red bed set for her that's cute is that cute for a teenage girl oh yeah those are little hearts okay we're gonna go with this we're gonna go with this and then let's we need to find a definitely we need to change this wall <laughs> we gotta change this wall right now that's a really cute little bed set we're gonna use but we need some paint we need some different paint or some wallpaper. That's wallpaper. We need paint. Um, and I don't want to do like a red wall. I want to do something kind of like subdued like that. That looks, it's almost like a greenish gray. Okay, I like that better. And then we'll decorate it. We'll make it look better. Let's do the floor though. <clears throat> Aw, thanks. Thanks, Ir Iru. And then let's do, let's get her some different carpet in here for God's sake, please. Now that looks good. I like that. That looks nice. Okay, let's get, let's go back to our set and see what else we can put in here and then we'll decorate the walls and stuff. <clears throat> it does, it looks classy. It looks really classy. Let's get her a nightstand. Nice little nightstand there. And let's get her, does it come with a, yeah, it comes with a lamp. We'll do a red lamp. Okay, that red clashes though. That red clashes with the other red. So maybe we'll do, let's see what color. We might use a different lamp if none of these look good. Mm, I'm not crazy about any of these lamps. So I think I'm gonna use do a different lamp. Let's get her a dresser. And I'm just gonna use the like the default color, wood color here. So we're gonna put our dresser here and then I'm gonna put a mirror above it too. It doesn't come with a mirror, but... And then let's, let's give her a beanbag chair because every teenage girl needs a beanbag chair in her room, right? <laughs> I used to have a beanbag chair in my room when I was a teenager, but it was just like one of those balls. It didn't look this nice. <laughs> it didn't look that good. For a beanbag chair, um, oh, are these for single bed? Yeah, but none of these really match. None of those really match. We're gonna stick with that for the bed. It's like a potato sack, it is. You're about to stuff your face with food. I, I'm gonna do the same after the stream's over. I did have some breakfast this morning, but I'm, I'm getting hungry again. Um, so some of this stuff isn't gonna work, but the basic set will work. I kind of wanted to get her a little desk. Oh, uh, that doesn't look, I don't like how that looks there. I wonder if we could put the beanbag chair over here. Put the beanbag chair over here. I want to turn this. Okay, so I'm gonna use a little trick here that I don't use very often. Where are they? It's not a walkthrough tile. I don't even think I have those anymore. Okay, don't listen to me. <laughs> don't listen to me. <laughs> I don't know where to put this. I'm gonna put it right there, I guess. And then I wanna put her little desk over here so that she has somewhere to do her homework. 
Oh yeah, we're gonna put a lot of post. We're gonna put stuff on the wall for sure. Right now, I just want to get the basic furniture down, and now I gotta go find this again. Rhodium. I think it's right here somewhere. Rhodium. And let's get her a chair. Okay, so now she has a desk. She has her beanbag chair. She has her nightstand. So I want to look for a lamp. And then I think I might do a standing lamp here. I think I might do a standing lamp. And then we're definitely going to put some stuff on the walls and some curtains too. What kind of lamp? Oh, that's cute. That's a nice lamp. I don't know. The red, the red kind of clashes though. I don't like that. Never mind. Don't listen to me. We'll try this one. It's gonna be hard to find one. Like I don't wanna use red because it's not gonna look good, but it's gonna be hard to find one that kind of matches the room. That's, I want something kind of like a grayish. I don't know, guys, I don't know. No, those, those don't look good either. <laughs> Object rotators. That's what I was looking for. That's what I was looking for. I don't think I have those anymore though Because I never used them. I might have taken them out I'll look at my miscellaneous miscellaneous in a second. I don't think I have them anymore though. Okay We might just have to use this this lamp I don't I'm not seeing another lamp that I like for this room. These are I really love these as sao sao lamps they're really cute i use these in nora's house and there's a lot of colors i'm not seeing any colors that i think are gonna look good in here if all the red clashes <laughs> i don't the rhodium lamp i don't think it looks good i don't i don't like the colors for it i don't like any of the colors I guess we could do, I don't know. It just doesn't look right to me. It doesn't look right to me. So I'm just gonna use this lamp, I guess. And then next, or hey, what's these? What's that? I actually like that better. I like that better. And it looks more like it would be in a teenage girl's house. I love hearing the bye music too. So we're gonna use that, a teenage girl's house, I mean room. <laughs> We're gonna use that. So now I want to have something to put on her On her little shelf or her little nightstand here. I think we'll put some books there Like that Maybe she reads she reads at night or something and I want to give her a mirror So let's put a mirror above the dresser. So I really like this mirror Now the wood is not gonna match obviously which kind of sucks. Maybe I have one that doesn't have any wood. That would be nice. If we had one that didn't have any wood around it. I, actually, I also really like these. But let's do... Can I move this up or down? No. I don't... That's not... I don't like that either. <laughs> Hold on. I'm going to find one I like in a second. That one looks pretty good. That's a big mirror, but I feel like she would have a big mirror in her room. And then I think we have like, maybe like a jewelry box or something like that we could put on the dresser. Let's go to miscellaneous, see what we can find here. How much money do I have? I've only spent half of the family's money on her room. <laughs> That's not too bad, right? <laughs> Bye, run the wildflowers. Um, let's see. I thought there was like some perfume or something. I wanted to put something or makeup or something like that. Thank you for the cheer, Plum Bobs. You know what I'm talking about? Like some perfume or makeup. I know there's like a little makeup thing somewhere. Or am I thinking of The Sims 3? Because sometimes I get it mixed up like what's in The Sims 2 and what's in The Sims 3. <laughs> Not a voodoo doll. No. But I swear there was like a little makeup case. And I'm just not seeing it. Her hobby is uh, TV and movies. Oh, maybe we should have put a TV in here. That's a, I think I'll put a TV in here too. 
There's a jewelry ball. I thought there was makeup. I that must be The Sims 3 that I'm thinking of. Okay, sorry guys. We'll put we'll give her like a little jewelry box which doesn't go on there. Oh, does this thing not have any slot sh la 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 slots on it? Ah. Oh, that's annoying. It doesn't have slots. That is that sucks. Cause now we're gonna have to put everything on an OMSP. So back we go, back we go again. So I'm gonna give her a jewelry box, but we're gonna put it on an OMSP like this. No, no, no. The makeup thing is in decor miscellaneous. That's where I just was and I didn't see it, but I have a whole bunch of crap in there, so. Okay, so there's the jewelry box at least. And then let me go back and see if I can find. Okay, decor miscellaneous. Tell me if you see it. I have so much stuff in here. I'm just gonna go down the, the line here. Oh, here, wait, wait. Fancy mess, that's what I wanted. This is what I wanted. Okay, or this will work anyway. This looks like a teen girl's mess. Fancy mess, fancy mess. Okay, oh my God, I wanna pick this up. There we go. I hope this will fit on this dresser. Oh, it's gonna like hang off a little bit, okay. So we're gonna put it, it's gonna have to go, no, 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 no. <laughs> Bear with me guys while I try to place this. I think we can get it on here. Let's see how that looks. Okay, that works, that works, there we go. <laughs> Okay, <clears throat> we got everything on there and now I wanna put, I wanna give her, I'm not gonna give her a computer because she's gonna use that to do her homework, but let's give her some curtains because she would wanna have some privacy, right? As a teenage girl, let's give her some curtains or some blinds maybe, blinds would work. Oh. Yeah, those blinds would be great. Let's see if we can find a color. A dark red. That works. That works. Okay, so far so good. So far so good. <laughs> now we just need some decorations on the wall. Oh yes, a desk locator. Thank you, Anna. Yes. Um, let's see here. Very good idea. I, I think I want to put it on a... I want to put it on an OMSP though, because if not, it's going to take up the only slot. And then I don't think she'll be able to put her homework on it. Or maybe we should put it on a shelf now that I think about it. I think we should put it on a shelf. Where am I going? Where are shelves? Give me the give me those shelves. Mailbox shelf? No. I just want a regular shelf. Just give me a regular shelf. <laughs> the wood's not gonna match, which bothers me. It's, that's close though. That's very close. I don't know if I needed an OMSP for that, but we had one, so, oops. Did that not turn snap objects off? Here we go. Close enough, we can put something else on there. That's not, that's floating. Oh no, it's floating in the sky. <laughs> I hate it when that happens. Okay, I'm just gonna try to put it on the shelf without the OMSP. And see if that works. Yeah, that's better. <laughs> now it's not floating. Okay, good enough. <laughs> good enough. <laughs> yeah, she would totally have a photo of herself up there. Okay, now I wanna put like something on these walls. 
So let's see. Thank you for the follow, Spiffrin. Thank you. And I've got some posters. I really like these posters we could put up. Let me find something that I think would suit her. Too much red is like, that's not gonna, that doesn't look good. So we don't wanna do that. No, I don't like any of those for her. I love those posters, but not for her. So let's see, we want some teenage girl stuff. Okay, I see your meme, we'll do that as soon as I finish this room. We want some teenage girl stuff. It doesn't have to match because when I was a teenage girl, I had just a bunch of random posters all over my wall that made no sense whatsoever. So we're gonna do the same thing for her. <laughs> just a bunch of stupid stuff that I think a teenage girl would have. Oh, let me turn quarter tile placement on so we can move it over a little bit and then let's do like one more maybe a little bit higher up <laughs> justin bieber in one direction that's what i think she would have uh i'm trying to find i don't know i don't know what else i want to put up oh here's some stuff look some stuff like this Oh yeah, that's cute. Oh wait, come here, come here! I'm trying to move you up on the wall. Let's take this one off and put another one of those. I like that size. Let's find another one that kind of matches. I don't know who these are. We can pretend that these are like celebrities that she's into. <laughs> there we go. And then this one we can put over here. We can move that up a little bit like that. We'll move it back down and move this one down. There we go. Why did that get dark? Did you see that? That was weird. I guess it's out of the light. Okay, so there we go. Maybe, do we need a rug? And do we need something on this wall? Hold on. <laughs> oh no, we gotta take that little kid thing down. And I don't know, do we need something on that wall? If we do, it needs to be something like this. Like not a picture. Do, 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 do. Like maybe a bullet, oh, this is what we need in her room. She's a popularity sim. I definitely think she would have something like this. Yeah, something like that with pictures of all her friends and stuff on it. I don't know, maybe not that one specifically. Let's see. This one, this one. Yeah, she would definitely have that. Yeah, we could do some hanging lights. That's a good idea. Am I spending all the family's money? Nah, they still have money. These are like, let me see what these look like. What are those? Flags? No. Here, let's try it like this. I had hanging, I still like to have hanging lights in my room and I'm almost 40. There, that's cute. That looks good. That looks like a teenage girl's room, doesn't it? It looks so cute. Oh, see, I think, what, what is that? Why was that there? That was weird. I like it. Maybe we could put something over here. Oh, I know. No, that's tiny. That's too small. We could put some school flags. I mean, a teenage girl's room doesn't have to make any sense, right? You just have a bunch of random stuff. <laughs> there, it's perfect. It's perfect. I love it. It's perfect. Okay, teenage dream room. Let's see how she likes it. So she needs to go to bed. So come up here and sleep in pajamas. See how you like your new room. <laughs> it's 
That's so cute. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I know I have a baby face. I probably look older if I lose weight. <laughs> Yep, it suits her. That's the perfect room for her. And poor Johnny has to live over here in his ugly old base game room. <laughs> but that's okay because Johnny's going to be moving out and then these two rooms will be the girls, will be Judy and Jade's rooms. Thank you for the follow, Louie. Oh, Johnny's coming in to check out her room. He doesn't like it. He doesn't. <laughs> nobody asked you for your opinion, Johnny. Jeez, nobody asked you if you liked it. So this whole upper floor is going to be all for the girls once Johnny leaves. I love that. So then we'll make over the rooms for the girls, however they, whatever their personalities are, which we have no idea what their personalities are going to be like right now. <laughs> yeah, I thought about a rug, but I don't know. I'm going to leave it how it is right now because we already spent so much money. Thank you for the follow, Sandra. <laughs> He looks like an alien Johnny Bravo. Yeah, he kind of does. Oh, he wanted to go practice his singing. Okay. Go ahead. Go practice your singing. We'll let you do that for a little bit tonight. You, God knows you need the practice. What's his creativity skill? Two. Oh, he's almost made it to three. Let's see if he improves any when he gets to three. <laughs> yeah, he's jealous. He's jealous that he didn't get a made-over room. But that's because he's about to move out on his own. Oh, yes, he gained a creativity skill. Let's see. He definitely got better. He got better, guys. I mean, he's not great yet, but he's way better. He's crooning away. <laughs> Yeah, he didn't get to use half the family funds on his room, but he hey, he got a uh, he got a microphone. <laughs> oh, I was gonna put a TV in her room too. Oh well, we can't do it right now because they have to save some of their money for the other girls. I think Jill is the favorite child. What do you guys think? Jill's the favorite. He'll be on Sims Got Talent. <laughs> Oh, yes. Thank you. I need to reset Jill's age. That's very good. Thank you for reminding me of that. Um, let's go do that right now. Because sometimes I forget to do that. Oops, not skills. Um, aging. Reset to max days. Jill Smith. There we go. Okay. So now she's 12 years old. She's got an A plus in school. Aw. She's the golden child, I tell you. <laughs> yeah. Joe was like, can't believe you dared to have twins on my birthday. So she had to get all that new stuff for her room. That was her parents' way of saying sorry. We didn't mean to steal your thunder. Did I do did I save? I don't remember if I saved. I'll save again. So this turned out to be really good. I'm so happy with the progress we made. Our twin girls. Johnny getting engaged, Jill becoming a teenager. So exciting. Um, I'll tell you that I'm in my late 30s, but I'm not telling you exactly how old I am because of privacy reasons. But I'm in my late 30s. Jade and Judy, what did I say? Did I call them something else? I don't know. I don't know what their names are. <laughs> yeah, Jade has is green with green eyes. So that's why I named her Jade. And then the first baby born was Judy. Jade and Judge Judy. <laughs> okay, that's enough practicing tonight. You're done practicing. You're getting so much better. I'm so happy for you, Johnny. You're getting so much better. <laughs> Jade and Judge Judy. Thank you for the follow, Foreculum. <laughs> Was there a meme? Did I miss the meme? Okay, we'll do a meme. Hold on, everybody's asleep now. Oh no, the babies! Okay, we'll do a meme and then we gotta take care of the babies. Let's see, let's see. What kind of meme do we have now? Um. Oh no! <laughs> Here's one we can relate to. 
when all my sims are doing well and happy and the pet running away music suddenly plays. <laughs> yes, we got twins, Shelby. We got twin girls. <laughs> Me first, baby later. So thank you for that, G. Here's one more. Embarrassed Sims. This year is awful. Can someone put 2020 in a pool and delete the ladders? Yes, please. <laughs> yes, please. The year has been horrible, except for one good thing happened to me this year, and that was that I got to become a full-time content creator. So that was the one good thing for me, but, you know, everything else has been pretty, pretty bad. <laughs> okay, thank you for the memes. Thank you, thank you. We can't do too many of them at once or we'll run out. Don't pee on my leg and tell me it's raining. That's what Judge Judy says. <laughs> Okay, so let's take care of these babies. Who's going to wake up and take care of them? Okay, it looks like... It looks like Jenny has had more rest. So we're going to... Actually, let, they're both going to wake up. They're both going to... They have twins, so they both have to wake up. Let's have Paul go and take care of Jade because he didn't get to see her yet. I have to wait for them to wake up. <laughs> She's gonna judge Tank and Buzz. <laughs> I know they both need to pee, but they're gonna have to. I hope they don't pee their pants before they can get to the babies. And you know what? Let's put a formula fridge like right here, too. So they don't have to go. I don't know if we can put it on the floor. Let's see if we can put it on the floor. We can. Wait. Let's move objects off and see if we can put it on the floor. Okay, we can. Let's get, that's a, those, those are the dirty ones. Let's get one of these. So here's what we're gonna do. Oh my God, if Pollination Technician 9 is abducted and has alien babies with the active Pollination Technician. No, I cannot imagine that. That would be crazy. Okay, come on and get up guys, your babies. Get up, get up. Jeez, don't you hear these babies crying? So we'll have Paul come and take care of Jade. Uh, change diaper, cuddle Jade, play with Jade, feed a bottle to Jade, and then we'll have Jenny come and take care of Judy. So change diaper, cuddle Judy, play with Judy, feed bottle to Judy. Okay, let's see. Let's see how this goes. Let's see how many routing errors we have here. <laughs> She's so happy. She was like, yes, I love taking care of my baby. <laughs> Aww. I knew there was going to be routing issues in this tiny little room. I knew it. I knew it. Well, at least you got the baby. At least you got the diaper changed. Cuddle, play with. Are we going to get the bottle, though? We might have to move the bottle fridge into the other room. Oh, that's right. He's an elder. That's right. He's an elder. I always forget he's an elder. I don't know why. He doesn't seem like an elder to me. <laughs> Yeah, the room is too tiny, but we're going to have to work with it for now. As soon as the girls are children, they can move upstairs. Okay, he got he got to the bottle fridge. Okay, so we got one baby fed. And let's see if Jenny, Jenny cannot get there. Okay, that's okay, Jenny. Just go to the kitchen. Just go to the kitchen real quick. It's just right here. Uh, feed bottle to Judy. This is gonna be rough. And look at her her bladder and hunger. Oh God, just hurry up and feed the, hurry up and feed the baby so we can take care of you. <laughs> I don't know, I think he's kind of a silver fox. I think he's good looking for an alien. No, don't put the baby on the floor, Paul. Okay, that's fine. He's gotta go to the bathroom. He's gotta go to the bathroom. Okay, go, go, go. Don't stand there and do the potty dance, go. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll get her to put Judy back in the crib. Then she can go to the bathroom. I hope she makes it and doesn't pee herself again. And I guess we're going to have to have them try for a baby again since she wants to have 10 children. <laughs> I really don't want to do that because three is the perfect amount. They can all have their own room upstairs, but... Paul wants 10 kids too? Okay, well, I guess we have to do it. <laughs> I guess we have to try. <laughs> Death by puddle peeing on the baby. Ten alien. This this world is gonna be populated with poles babies. Okay, let's put this other baby up. Um 
Put put Jade in the crib, Paul. Those ten babies aren't gonna make themselves. You're right. <laughs> but we have to get their needs taken care of first. Oh, they don't have enough money for a butler. They live twenty four hundred simoleons. Uh, but Paul can do most of the house cleaning and stuff. But and they might have to hire a nanny occasionally. Okay, so hunger, energy. Okay, you need just go to go back to bed. You go back to bed. And you need something to eat really bad. So come in here, and get some cake. Oh, you have you can't eat cake. Okay. She's trying to get eat an instant meal. Get leftovers. Whatever's a leftover will be better than an instant meal. Um cookies, eat those cookies. <laughs> That's right. I know. I got to get them going. I do. We'll try again, but right now their needs are so low. We got to take care of this first. It'll be pulpilated. <laughs> That's true. They have four. They only have to have six more. And with them both having fertility treatments, they might actually make it if she kept having twins. But you know how difficult this is going to be? You guys are killing me. <laughs> I'm blaming it on you. <laughs> Yeah, she's addicted to instant meals. She is. Let's have one. Let's have one now. Have an instant meal since that's what you want. That's what you love. She's like, I don't have time to cook. I'm just gonna eat instant meals. <laughs> I love myself. Don't do it. I don't think they'll make it to ten, but if they want to try, I'll let them try. <laughs> Definitely not a hundred. Oh my god. I would never do the 100 baby challenge. Like, that just doesn't even sound fun to me. You couldn't even get to know the babies or anything. I like to watch my Sims grow up and see their personalities and stuff. I don't want to just be popping out babies for no reason. <laughs> Paul could make the 10 kids want since he's the father of Lola and Chloe. Oh, I forgot about that. I forgot he might actually get there. Okay, I know you need to take a shower for God's sakes. Take a shower and then go back to bed. <gasps> they might have to get a maid. If they got a maid, then Paul could probably handle the babies. They could drink the elixir of life, but I don't like to do that very often. Yeah, she had twins, Max. She had twin girls. Yep. Two little twin alien girls named Judy and Jade. Wait, that's Judy. And that's Jade. And they have a red hair. Oh, I can't wait to see them. <laughs> I can't wait to see what they're going to look like. All right, go back to sleep, Jill. Now I got to check on everybody else in the house. Okay, um, Johnny's awake. He's taking a bath. He's fine. Let's check on Jill. Oh, Jill's just sitting. She just, oh, she's having an instant meal. <laughs> she's acquired her mom's instant meal addiction. And she wants to do her homework. Um, does she have any homework? That's not, I think she did all of her homework. Didn't she? No. Can she, I wonder if she can still do her, her this homework. Can she still do this homework? I can't even put it on the ground. Put it on the desk. Okay, let's see if she can do this homework before she has to go. To, oh no, she's got to go to school in like 13 minutes, so never mind. <laughs> Yeah, the alien genes are strong in Strange Town. Hey, Joe. <laughs> no, she doesn't have any teen homework. That homework should disappear. Um, but I'll keep that locked in so she can work on her homework when she gets home from school today. Okay, school bus is here, Jilly. You gotta go. Get to school. Get to school. You're the only one who goes to school in this house now. Today's her first day of junior high, y'all. She's going to junior high. She's looking so good. She's going to be the most popular kid girl at school, probably. See you, Jill. And let's check on Johnny again. He needs to go get some breakfast. He's listening to New Wave again. Oh, he's going to go. Oh, he's going to serve breakfast. How nice. He's going to make breakfast for the family. He probably knows how tired his mom and dad are after the whole twin birthing last night. <laughs> and he's going to make some yogurt. Yeah, he proposed to her. They're engaged now. Johnny and Ophelia are engaged and they will be getting married when we get back to Ophelia. 
Um, we have, how much time do we have left in this house? Oh, one day. We have one day left. So this will be our last day on this house and it'll be just about time. So I'm gonna play through uh, the rest of the day so that we can get completely through this round. Okay, let's see if anybody else needs to eat. Yeah, come grab a bowl. Come grab a bowl. The babies are still doing fine for the moment. Oh, she's still sleeping. Never mind. Not wait, did I tell you to grab a bowl? Okay, you just grabbed a bowl. <laughs> yeah, it's like a it's like an insurer. That's what the instant meal reminds me of, insurer. <laughs> okay, uh-oh, our bills are due too, so we got to go deal we got to go pay the bills. Was the yogurt in a tin can? I didn't even notice that. <laughs> Yum, I love my yogurt straight from the can. <laughs> they make pudding in a can. How disgusting is that? Like, I don't know if you guys have ever seen, at least in America, I don't know how it is in other places, but in America, in our grocery stores, especially like Walmart, they have this section of the grocery store where they sell like bulk food. And it's like these big giant cans. I think that's like what cafeterias use or something like school cafeterias so they have like these big giant cans of like beans and and uh like stuff like ketchup and mustard and pickles and they have a pudding they have a pudding a big giant industrial sized tin can of pudding <laughs> so gross and you know it tastes just like can you know it's gonna taste like can yeah school cafeteria food <laughs> it's so gross. <laughs> Not everything is in a can, no. I don't I eat very little canned food. The only canned food that we really eat are beans. Like I eat a lot of canned beans because it's just so much easier than making them from dried and it's like super cheap. You can get a can of beans for like 69 cents. Um but that's pretty much the only thing that we eat out of a can is beans and tomatoes. Beans, tomatoes, and corn. Beans, tomatoes, and corn. Those are the only three things I buy canned. Thank you for the follow, Sky. All right, let's check on um, Paul here. I don't know what he's doing. I don't know what he's doing with his life. I don't care, whatever. And Johnny, whatever. <laughs> Live your life, guys. I don't care what you do. I don't. Oh, yeah, so I don't know what pudding means in other countries, <laughs> but to us, pudding is like, I'll show you what pudding is to us. It's like a, a milk dessert. I'll show you what pudding means to me. This is pudding. This is what pudding is in America right here. Oh, thank you for the follow, Peasy. This is what pudding is. It's like a, a creamy, milky, usually chocolate. There's also banana, vanilla. There's a bunch of different flavors. Pistachio is good. It's a custard. I wouldn't call it a custard, but I guess it is. That's what we call pudding. That's what we call pudding. Or like, this is not pudding. That's custard. Custard to me is like a firm. Pudding is like not firm it's not firm at all it's like it's like creamy like this yeah it's like mousse it's kind of more like mousse yeah it's but it's not custard or mousse it's a very and it's very cheap so this is how most people make pudding right here you buy this you buy this package you mix it up with milk and you let it thicken in the refrigerator and then that's how you have pudding, jello pudding. Um, you can also buy like the little packs like this, which I find to be disgusting. Pudding snacks. <laughs> Ooh, butterscotch is a good, I like butterscotch, cheesecake. Uh, but anyway, that's pudding. That's what, when I say pudding, that's what I'm talking about. I know in like in I think in Britain when you say pudding it just means dessert but we mean a specific dish when we say pudding we mean a specific dish in America get yourself a pudding uh oh the babies are crying again dang it babies always needing stuff 
Okay, get over here. It's your turn to change Judy. I have a feeling we're gonna be doing a lot of this. Change Judy, cuddle Judy, play with Judy, give Judy a, a bottle. And then you. Oh, no, 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 no. What are you doing? Don't kiss lightly. We don't have time for that right now. Change diaper, cuddle, play. You go in here and feed a bottle. Did the, oh no, the yogurt went bad. Oh crap. Feed bottles to Jade. How dare they have basic needs. I've got more important things to do here. <laughs> and we let the yogurt go bad. Johnny, that was your responsibility. Go clean that up. Somebody's trying to clean that up. Oh, did you just see Jill slide down the banister? <laughs> yeah, Jello is a brand. Um, they, they're they most... Po I'm probably more popular for gelatin, which I don't like. Okay, he can't even get to this baby. He can't even get to the baby. Jill, get... I mean, Jenny, get out of the way. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> Get out of here. Get out of here. Okay. This is really annoying. Hurry up and go feed the baby so he can get to this baby. All right, there we go. Go hold Judy. I don't care about the trash right now. Bad tin can yogurt. Mmm. <laughs> what? It, why? What is the- why can't they get to the baby? I don't understand. Okay, let's have Jill try now. Maybe the, the stuff was in the way. I don't know why they couldn't get to the baby. Okay, let's try again. Go hold- no. No. Hold Judy. We're gonna have Jill take some responsibility for her little sister like they're a fundy family. The older kids take care of the younger kids. <laughs> That's how this family's gonna be. We gotta make a church in Strange Town so they can go to church with their giant family. <laughs> no, I don't make my custom neighborhoods available for download because I use so much uh, custom content in them that it would just be way too much to try to share. Okay, change diaper, play, cuddle. Um, I do well. My fair play is available. That's not true. I made fair play available um, for download on my blog, but it's just base game. But you could you know, fix it up however you wanted to. But as far as my edge would know. Okay, feed bottle. Actually, you can feed a bottle right here. Feed bottle to, who do you have? Judy. Whew, this is gonna be rough. Luckily, we do have four or three adults and a teen in this house to help care for the baby. The Smith army, yeah. <laughs> Aw, thanks, Max. I don't know if Adam will be alien obsessed. Probably. <laughs> I think I have a thing. I think I have a link to Fair Play. Let's see. There's the link to Fair Play if you want to download that. That's a neighborhood that I made. Okay, uh, but we got a commercial break, so we'll do a commercial break. We're already over, <laughs> but that's okay. I want to get through this day. I want to get through this day. Now, put the baby... Feed the baby, put the baby back in the crib. You put the baby back in the crib. Oh my God. And then I'm just gonna pretty much fast forward through and let everybody do whatever they want for the rest of the day. <laughs> Maybe they'll take care of themselves. Hopefully they'll take care of themselves and we'll watch out for the babies. <laughs> yeah. Okay, come on, hurry up. No, what'd you do with that baby? There we go. Okay, the babies are good, finally. Now I'm just gonna let my sims do whatever. Take care of yourselves, please. Oh, they just became best friends. You're not taking care of yourself. Aw, oh, thank you so much for giving out the gift sub, Shelby, to Nolan John. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, we got a trash pile. Who's gonna clean this house? Who's gonna clean this? First of all, she needs to eat. And you know what? You need to pull your weight around here, Johnny. It's your turn to clean. It's your turn to clean the house. Get busy. <laughs> There's only one plate of food left. She needs to do her homework when she gets done in the shower. I'm going to send her up to do her homework. 
and then we'll just keep we'll just keep watching everybody i might have uh, jenny go ahead and cook some dinner too since there's nothing left in the refrigerator so let's serve not dessert let's serve dinner let's make what have we not made chicken and dumplings i guess oh i didn't claim her desk did i not no i didn't did i um she still used it though so that's good news she still used her desk so we'll have her claim it after she finishes her homework she's working on her her assignment there in her room i love her room it's so cute <laughs> And let's see what everybody else is doing. Pole's just relaxing, chillaxing. Is that still a thing? And waiting for dinner. There we go. Dinner's ready. Okay, and so another day has passed. So our this will be our final ages for this round. So Pole is 61. Jenny is 44. Johnny is 23. And Jill is 13. Oh, and then our little girls um, are... Let's see, they're one, right? They're one years old. Okay, so tomorrow they'll turn two and they'll age up. So the next time we get back to this family, uh, the girls will be aging up. Yes. Oh. I was like, Mr. Pleasant was just standing there staring at me. I was like, what are you looking at me for? Hey, pumpkin. Hey, little sweet boy. Oh, he wants down. He wants down, but you get to see him for a second. <laughs> Now he's gonna cause problems on my desk. He loves getting up on my desk. He loves to watch the screen. He's fine. Okay, so I don't know what everybody's doing here. I'm just gonna fast forward through. We just have to get through this. Is Johnny available to talk? Yes. And then we'll watch a commercial and then we'll be done. I know he's getting so big. He's getting so big. He is, he's a big boy. Are the babies okay? As long as the babies are okay, I'm okay. And then we're just gonna send everybody to bed. You need to do something with yourself. Use the bathroom, go to sleep. And next time we play them, we'll try for baby again, I guess. Okay, what are you doing? Oh, oh, thank you so much, Shelby. Thank you for that cheer. Thank you very much, a thousand bits, thank you. <laughs> That was, I like that sound that played. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, Jill, you know what? What are you doing? What are you doing? No, no, no. Okay, play games, whatever. She hasn't done her hobby one single time. <laughs> okay, no, no, no. I want you to watch a movie. You do what I tell you to do. I keep saying that I'm just going to do this, but I can't help but control them, you know? <laughs> Watch a movie. Watch a drama. I feel like you would watch a drama. Oh, she wants a skill point. I'm locking that in for sure. Yeah, Jill's... She's... That's because she needs fun, but we're taking care of that now. Oh, the food's still out. Somebody better put this food away. Don't relax. Come put this food away. <laughs> we spent all the money on Jill's room. We can't afford to let food go to waste. No, there wasn't a poll about it. I'm just going to try to let them have 10 babies since they both want to. That's what convinced me. They both want to have 10 babies, so they're going to try. I, I really don't think they're going to make it, but they're going to try for it. And so the next time the, we get back to them, they're going to be trying for baby. And their current babies are going to be aging up to toddlers. Oh, God, they're crying again. No, why do you need so much? You always need things. Get in here and uh, play cuddle, I don't know, play cuddle, feed bottle. <sighs> Who is that? Jade. I'm just trying to get through this night, y'all. That's all I'm trying to do. <laughs> yeah, they could adopt. I thought of that, too. I need to set up an orphanage for Strange Town. Um, is this baby awake? Go hold Judy. <laughs> Nope, that baby's fine. Oh, man. It's a baby making time. Not yet. Not yet. Okay, you need to change this baby's diaper. 
this one's gonna be needing things pretty soon. It's we're like so close. Nope, there we go. Okay, come on, Paul. Get back in here. This is your whole life now. This is your whole freaking life now. Don't cook. Oh no. Oh no, I told him to stop cooking. Oh no. <laughs> He's gonna get don't do a fire right now, please. Resume cooking. Oh god. What are you cooking peppers in the middle of the night? Your baby need oh my god. Okay, Johnny, you can you do this. Go change the baby's diaper. <laughs> Cuddle Judy. Get to know your sister. Play with Judy. Feed bottle to Judy. Jeez Louise. This this is getting rough. And Paul's just like, I think I'll serve some stuffed peppers tonight. That's great. Thank you. It's freaking 1 a.m. It's 1 o'clock in the morning. This whole family's still awake. I don't even know anymore. I'm just trying to get them through the night. So put Jade back in the crib. Put these away. <laughs> and go to bed. What's wrong with you? <laughs> yes, I'm going for 10 babies in this house. Yes, I am. <laughs> Where did you just did she just put that in there? I thought they weren't supposed to be able supposed to be able to put food in there. Okay, put um who is that? Judy. Put Judy in the crib. You go to bed too. Every I'm trying to get everybody to bed. <laughs> That's my goal here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then you go to sleep. You put these away oh my god they're gonna have to get a maid to help out i really think they are and then you go to bed and then we just have jill get her to bed and we're finally we're finally done with this day oh my god <laughs> i saw her put that food in the baby fridge i didn't think they could do that okay is that it Okay, and look, it's already it already switched to second summer. So we're good. We're good. I'm stopping. I'm saving. Whew, we're done. Okay, and I, I said we would do one more commercial. So we're going to do one more commercial and then we will end. Oh my god. It's getting rough in this house. <laughs> it's getting really rough in here. Let me find the Discord again. Let's find one more commercial to watch. Let's see. What do we want to what do we want to see? What do we want to see? I don't know. I'm just looking for anything that we haven't watched already. Scrolling up, seen hot sticks. Um got milk. Okay, here's a got milk commercial. Thank you for the follow, Shay. Got milk commercial submitted by Mitzi. Drink. Stop auto playing YouTube. You're driving me insane. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Yeah, Jenny's Jenny's gonna be 17 kids Drink and counting. I don't want milk. Milk's for babies. Milk's yeah, for babies. babies. Well, yeah. Well, I happen to know that milk helps build strong bones. So drink up. Well, Mr. Miller told me he never drinks milk. This Look is at so him. dumb. Yeah. Hi, kid. <laughs> oh, well, that's not good. <laughs> That's so dumb. <laughs> Thank you for sharing that. Thank you for that commercial. We're going out on a milk commercial. Thank you, Mitzi. <laughs> that is horrifying. <laughs> it reminds me of Arrested Development. Um, when the dad tries to teach the kids a lesson. You guys know what I'm talking about. <laughs> all right guys well i'm gonna go ahead and end the stream here thank you so much for joining me today and also if you're a new subscriber even if you're on a gift sub don't forget to join our discord and connect your uh twitch account with discord and you can get bonus videos i got a new bonus video coming out for my twitch subs and my youtube channel members at the shipper level and above i'm gonna have a new episode of fair play for you guys coming out tomorrow i've also got new videos coming next week yay and thank you guys all so much for the subs and the gift subs and the cheers thank you very much everybody i really appreciate it and i will see you guys very soon have a great rest of your weekend Bye, bye everybody. Oh yeah, don't forget to get your merch. Don't forget to get your Pleasant Sims merch. And what else? I think that's all I've got to plug today. Thank you for the follow, Woombie. <laughs> bye everybody.
everybody. Have a great weekend. I'll see you soon. And I'll see you on Monday night for uh, Pleasant View. Be there. Be there. Be square. Bye.